right, what up, people? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? What's the deal? So today, I'm be talking about like why some guys like to downplay the game. You feel me? So uh, before we get into all that, make sure you guys get the book "How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day," the ebook, hard copy, or audio book, right? Um, also, make sure you guys get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. Okay, the Truth About the Game seminar coming up April fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Make sure you guys get that. Click the link below to get your tickets. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this seminar, okay? You do not want to miss this. So get your tickets today. You feel what I'm saying? So we're going to get this shit popping. So today I want to talk about, you know, why guys basically try to downplay, uh, you know, the game or having game. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that. Like, why why guys downplay this shit? Now, first of all, let's talk about what does what does having game mean? What do we talk about when we when we when we say having game? Jermaine, I, I feel you. I hope, I hope the, 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 the stream stays stays smooth today. It looks like it's working good today. Because that another night, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's let's, let's put that positive energy out there. You feel me? Man, so. So the thing is, what what is what is having game? And I talked about this before. First of all, let's talk about what the game is. The game is life, okay? The game is life. Now, having game is having a strategy to get what you want out of this life. You see what I'm saying? Now, first of all, before 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 I get into any any other stuff. Um, what you guys got to understand is, is that a lot of dudes out there don't really want to, to win. You understand? They don't really want to make shit happen, but I'm going to get, I'm actually getting to that later. I'm going to get into that later first. I'm going to get into this first. And I'm going to get to that later. Right. Um, what you got to understand is, you know, there's game and there's the game and then there's having game. So having game is you having the skill or strategy to, you know, Get what you want out of their life, out of this life. Now, a lot of guys, you know, the reason why they like to downplay the game is because they don't actually want to put in any work to get, you know, the shit they want. You understand? Or another reason why people downplay the game is because most of them don't really understand, um, you know, what game is in the first place. You understand? So they just think game is like, you know, uh, spit and pick up lines and all this other shit. They don't understand that game is a strategy. Now your strategy can be, you know, whatever you want. The, the, the end goal is, is your game tight or is your game weak? Is your game getting you to where you want or is it not? You feel what I'm saying? And so there's a lot of guys who their, their game is weak. So this is why they say the game doesn't work or the game is bullshit or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? So, the thing is, hold on, real quick, before I get into any 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 of that other stuff, um, I see you guys in the chat room trolling, okay? I see y'all in the chat room trolling. So, we're not going to have any trolling on, on, on this show, you understand? So, we're not going to do that. We're only talking about game here. Stop trolling. Now, the thing is, you have a lot of guys out there who whose game is weak, and this is why they, they downplay the game. You see what I'm saying? And so, when your game is tight, you're actually getting what you want. You see what I mean? You're actually getting the results you want. You feel what I'm saying? What up, Terry? What's going on? You're actually getting the results you want when your game is tight. Now, this is the this is the funny part about game is that everything you're doing is part of your game, right? The problem is certain guys don't realize that, and certain guys 
think they're doing things outside the game. So, for example, a guy might say, well, I'm just going to get a whole bunch of money and, you know, get girls that way. Now, if that's how you're doing it, that's still game. That's still part of your game. Right? But what happens is, is that when you're doing that, you can't necessarily compare it to a, a, another guy who's not doing that type of shit. So a lot of times, good dudes who will say, oh, I'm a, you know, go out here, get some money, spend it on, on some whores, they'll call themselves players or some shit. And I'm like, dude, you're not a player, you're a trick. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to understand your position in the game. So it's the same way where, you know, a chick is a gold digger. Ain't nothing wrong with her being a gold digger, right? But she can't say she's not a gold digger because she's doing gold digger shit. So don't call yourself anything but a gold digger if you're doing gold digger shit in the game. Just like don't call yourself uh, nothing but a trick if you're doing trick shit in the game. So don't confuse yourself with a player when you're doing trick shit. You see what I'm saying? Because, see, the difference between a trick and a, and a guy who's a player, the player acquires things through his mind and his knowledge and what's inside of him. You see what I'm saying? Johnny Quincy said, even though you get the same result, are you saying that you can't be compared? Of, you, you can't. You can't. You can't compare someone getting this because the thing is they don't get the same result, actually. You see what I mean? On the surface, it looks like you get... Okay, for example, if I get a chick to fuck me, right, because I'm talking to her and I'm having a conversation with her and I elicit certain feelings within her to want to fuck me, right? Let's say I do that and another guy, he tells a chick, look, I'll give you $200 if you fuck me. Right? We both get in the fuck a girl, but it's different types of fucking. The girl who actually wants to fuck me is going to fuck me differently than a guy who's paying for the fucking. So even on that situation, you're not getting the same thing. So while I'm fucking the girl that's into me because of me interacting with her and eliciting, eliciting those feelings... She's fucking me. She's sucking me. She's like, oh my God, I want you to come in my mouth, come in my face, fuck me, you know, slap my ass, do all this other shit, right? Now the guy who's paying for it, she's looking at her watch talking about, you got five minutes to nut. She's just laying there. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't compare the two. So yeah, both of them are getting sex, but what type of sex are you getting? Or the macaroni telling you what's going on? So that's what I'm saying. It's two different aspects of the game. So again, you trick in, that's part of your game if that's what you do, but understand that it's different than a motherfucker being a player. That's different than a, a dude who's actually uh, getting shit popping with his mouthpiece. You see what I mean? And this is why I teach dudes to have that mouthpiece because... You want to you want to be able to smash that chick who wants to smash you. Johnny Quest, you said, but you both get to smash, which is the goal of both of you guys. So what does it matter what type of smashing you get? Dude, you're not understanding what I'm saying. If if I if I take you to the movies, right? And we go see Black Panther in the movie theater, right? Surround sound, nice movie theater, popcorn, candy, drinks, big screen, everything is good, right? Now, let's say we do that, and then versus if I get you a bootleg of Black Panther, and you're watching it. We, you still got to see the movie either way, but it was two different ways you saw it. Which one was better? You feel what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. You guys got to understand that. Y'all think there's like, see, there's no, there's no shortcut to this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because one thing actually, uh, 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 you know, creates 
a different experience. Scope Maverick, you said, you said, ever have sex with a chick that isn't in the mood versus one who is? That'll tell you all you need to know. Exactly. Exactly. Real talk. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you, cats. So again, you can do the game however you want, but understand you're going to get certain outcomes based off of how you're approaching the game. And also you cannot call yourself or act like you're this way or that way when you're not doing it this way or that way. So yeah, you can get uh, mad pussy tricking if you want, but you're going to get bootleg pussy. Just understand that. Because there's a difference between a chick fucking you because she wants to and a chick fucking you because she has to. You understand? A chick is fucking you because she has to because you paid her. A chick's fucking you because she wants to because she desires you. Two different things. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's what this is. This is all I'm saying. Dude's got. <laughs> oh man. Listen, I I I I I'm telling you guys. Go to that. Go watch that movie, Whore's Glory. I think it's on Netflix. Movie called Whore's Glory. And it's about hoes around the world or whatever. I think like some hoes in India, some hoes in uh, China or something like that. And you'll see the difference. That's all I'm saying. So this is what I'm saying when it, when it comes to games. There's different ways you could do it. But there's going to be, you're, you're not going to get, it, it's just like this. If you want a certain type of outcome, you got to go about it a certain type of way, period. Period. If you go about it a certain way, don't expect to get the other outcome you want. So what I'm saying is if you're tricking, don't expect to get the type of pussy a player is getting. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to say that again. If you're tricking, don't expect to get the type of pussy a player is getting. You feel what I mean? So, I mean, guys, you got to understand this. And, because see, the, the 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 best, see, this is this is the thing. Like, what I, what I find interesting is, when we talk about learning game, right? A lot of the, a lot of what you learn and what you understand and what you implement into your game as far as, you know, you making shit happen that's coming from you that's the strongest thing you can do because nobody can take that away from you so what i mean is if if my game is based strictly on money cars flashy things if i don't have the money cars and flashy things then i can't get nothing popping because this is the thing let me let me make this this clear because you know let's let's talk about the whole looks money status thing. You can use your looks, you can use your money, you can use your status as part of your game to get certain things. So you can do that. But when guys think that it's only about that. That's when they fucking up because they're 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 sort of downplaying. It's funny. It's the ironic part is the part is they're downplaying the game, but using your looks, money, and status is part of the game if you know how to use it. So, for example, if you have a certain look that a girl likes and she's checking you out, then you can use that to your advantage in the interaction when you're approaching her and you're talking to her. But see again that. Again, it's you understanding the game and understanding how to do that. See, with money, money really is supposed is, is supposed to be used as a tool within your game. It's not supposed to be the thing you're using as, oh well, I'm a, I'm going to attract this girl with my money. Jermaine Jones, you said a real confident man don't need anything to get a chick. Exactly. And this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Listen, let me, let me explain something to you guys, right? 
everything that I that I that I got right now when it comes to this business that I'm doing, the 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 books that I wrote, you know, this book, I got the bad boy book, I have another book coming out. I have uh, books for women, I have programs, I have the bad boy membership, you know what I'm saying? Like I have uh, my motivation side, I have all these different things that I'm doing that I built from the ground up and all of this shit came from my mind. And so what I'm saying is, is that even when it, when it comes to women and we, we translate this to you dealing with women, the things that you can get in the game when it comes to you, in, you know, uh, involving yourself with women means that you have to first believe it, believe that you can make it happen. Macaroni Tony, you said you 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 don't think they understand the difference between appearance and looks. Looks is genetic, appearance you, is you can control. Exactly. Yeah, your appearance you can control how you look. You know, as far as your parent, your your visual presentation, I should say. The looks is just you know this shit. You, you know what I'm saying? And this is why I, I I find it funny where guys are always so concerned with looks because what are you gonna do about your looks? Like, what are you gonna do about your face? You feel what I'm saying? Oh, man. What are you going to do about your face? Johnny Quest, you said it's hard to believe what you don't see or experience. What do you What do you mean? What are you talking about? And see, this is the funny part. Man, there's so much fucking videos, footage, uh, uh, examples in real life of seeing dudes who don't look that great, you know, aren't the best looking guys with chicks. Go to any of those RSD videos. Nez, you said plastic surgery? Hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take calls soon. But this is the funny part. Let's say you get plastic surgery and 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 you still, you, you think you look better, but... What happens is, is that your look, however you look, a bunch of girls don't like it still. Again, however you look, there's going to be girls who like it, girls who don't. There's going to be a bunch of girls who like the fact that I'm dark skin, that I got muscles and all this other shit. They're going to like that shit. There's other girls who don't give a fuck about me being dark skin, about me being black or whatever. And it, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So no matter what I do, or what you do, or how you look, there's going to be some people who like it, some people who don't. So again, it cancels out. And y'all talking about plastic surgery, I end up looking like freaking aliens and shit. Look at the fuck. Is <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. See... A lot, of, a lot of dudes got to get out into the real world so they can see what really happens when you're dealing with women. Dude, I see, I see guys all the time who's just regular ass dudes with bad chicks. Johnny Quest, you say you've never seen an average looking dude with a bad chick. You have never experienced getting play from a bad chick. When you try to talk to chicks, it's always some goofy shit. Listen, you need to get out more, bro. You need to get out. Where do you where do you live? You never seen an average looking dude with a bad chick. Come on, son, stop. What are you talking about? And see, the part where you say you never get play from a bad chick, most of the times, let me let me let me tell you. Real talk, the reason why most dudes don't get play from bad chicks or they don't get like you know shit popping with bad with, with hot girls is because of how y'all look at yourselves and how you look at hot women it's how you look at yourselves and how you look at hot women because i you know i'll be watching you know uh uh like different dudes like different pickup artists and stuff and some of them will say shit like 
well, if a girl is hot, then it means this, this, and this. If the girl is hot, she's going to act this way, that way, and that way. If the girl is hot, it's going to be harder to get her because it is. If the girl is hot, she's a higher status, so then you got to do this and this and that. If the girl is hot, then that means that you got to come at her this way. Because blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? Now, in certain situations, right, if you can tell... Like if a girl is really, uh, you know, uh, uh, an attractive girl, you see her like, wow, she's cute. And you can assume most other guys would think she's cute, right? All that really needs to happen, just in general, because you have to be like this all the time. Just in general, your game has to be tight regardless, overall. So when you approach her, you're not necessarily switching it up because switching it up, switching it up within itself has already put her on a pedestal. Nez Mustafa, you said, but if the girl is hot, she has uh, a lot of options. Most girls have a lot of options. Don't matter if they're hot or not. Doesn't matter if they're the hottest girl or the average chick. Most of these girls have options. But guess what? Who are you, though? You feel what I'm saying? Well, shout out to my dude Everett Overton in the in the building. Yo, Everett, we gotta do another another uh video, man. I, I'm a, I'm gonna email you probably uh, sometime this week. We gotta do another joint. But see, this is this is the problem with a lot of dudes. It's really your mindset, B. A lot of y'all are fucked up in the mind, B. I'm 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 just being completely honest here. I'm being completely honest here. A lot of y'all dudes. Y'all are super insecure. And y'all go off of theory. Y'all go off of assumptions. Like I heard dudes say, you know, they'll they'll say like, oh well, if a chick is, is hot, then she most likely she's you know she's gonna be bitchy or she's gonna be harder to talk to. How the fuck do you know? How do you know that that hot girl right there in front of you is a bitch? How do you know? And how is her being hot automatically make her a bitch? Or, or automatically make her harder to talk to? How? Is she not a human being just like every other girl? Does she not have feelings and emotions like every other chick? Does she not grow up and experience things like every other person? McCann, you said, can I explain what, what, that you should never assume when it comes to the game? Exactly, this is the thing. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. You can't assume shit. You approach her, you talk to her, and then you will know. Because guess what? You could actually be her type. You could actually be the guy that she likes. You don't know. See, dudes always have this, 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 uh, this made-up sort of thinking of because a girl looks this way, this is her personality. It's like somebody seeing me and saying, oh, this guy's black. He must listen to uh, uh, Lil Uzi Vert. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I'm sure he doesn't like country music because he's black. Like, just, just because I look this way, does this mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how many people, uh, uh, um, when I tell them my, that my wife is white, they're surprised. They're like, your wife is white? What the, what the fuck? Because they have all these assumptions based over how I look, you know, and how I come across that I'm going to be a certain way. And dudes do that all the time with hot chicks. They're like, oh, she's hot? That means this, 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 and this. And so now I have to act this way to, towards her. And I got, and, and, and this is another thing. I'm probably going to do a, a whole other video on this where... Dudes be be giving hot chicks or girls they think are hot too many chances. Fuck that. That's why it, it's hard for dudes to, 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 to get with some of these hot girls because too many dudes be sucking butt and kissing ass when they think a chick is hot. And that's why it's hard for you to get, get the chick. I don't give a fuck how hot a girl is. Dude, there's so many hot girls that I charge to the game immediately. I don't give a fuck how hot you are. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the hot motherfucker. I don't give a fuck how hot you are. When I approach you, I don't give a fuck if you hot. 
fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she's so hot. I got to do this. And I'm, oh my God, what, how am I going to get her? Fuck her. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, see, again, it's your mindset and it's your attitude. Because this is the thing. A lot of dudes, the reason why they're not getting shit popping is your mindset and your attitude is really, that's all the shit is. Because I stepped to a chick and let her know who the fuck I am. You understand what I'm saying? I'm looking at her like, look, you're attractive, but who gives a fuck? This is the thing. Whenever I'm whenever I'm talking to a girl, this is this is how. Let me give you guys a, a little a little. Let me give you guys some game real quick. Hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna take no calls yet. I ain't gonna take no calls yet. So I got I gotta lace you guys with some game. When I go when I when I talk to chicks. Right? This is what I do. And this is this is what you, you could do and this is what you should do. A lot of times if you really want to get shit popping. Right? <clears throat> Whenever you talk to a girl, right? You, you should always, 90% of the time, this is going to help you out a lot, frame the situation to where she's trying to impress you. Okay? I'm going to say it again. You frame the situation... To where she's trying to impress you. Now, how do you do that? How do you actually do this authentically, right? First, within your own mind, you need to be able to understand what you're looking for in a chick and what you don't want in a chick. So I'll give you an example. For me, I like chicks who are really freaky. I like chicks who are submissive. I like chicks who uh, bring shit to the table. Like they got their own money. They got shit popping off. What I don't like is I don't like chicks who have a whole bunch of kids. I don't like chicks who have an attitude problem. I don't like chicks who, who are uh, stuck up or whatever, right? So when I'm talking to the girl, I'm framing all of my questions and interactions with her based off of that. So now I'm not sitting there saying, oh my God, you're so hot. Can you like me? Can you, can you love me? Can you please accept me? Oh my God, you're so hot. You're such a goddess, right? When I'm talking to her, right? I'm asking those questions and I'm, I'm, I'm basically interacting with her in that fashion, in that manner. You feel what I'm saying? So when I'm talking to her, I'm having a conversation with her and I'm like, you know, so what do you, what do you do for a living? She'd be like, oh, well, you know, right now I work at Target and stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, that seems like a good start. But I mean, is that where you want to, you know, end up? Do you want, do you want to do anything else? Is that all you're trying to do now by me Framing it like that and saying that, it puts her on the defensive. It puts her in a way where she's like, well, you know, I'm trying to blah, 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 blah. You understand? So the thing is, I'm not sitting there sweating her. I'm like, yo, I'm the shit. You work at Target. You feel what I'm saying? Now, no disrespect to anybody that works at Target. But what I'm saying is, is that I'm, I, you, I'm the one who came up to you. And you should be glad this is even happening. You understand? I'm not coming up to you for your approval and to get you to like me and all this other stuff. I see you since I'm attracted, since I think you're cute. And I'm not even uh, letting her uh, know this to that certain extent, but this is why I'm doing it. But then when I'm talking to her, I'm evaluating her. You feel what I'm saying? I'm evaluating her. You understand? And even sometimes I'll say shit like, you know, I'll be talking to a chick and, you know, I'll, you know, I'll say some shit like, uh, you know, like we'll be having a conversation and I'll be like, man, you know, um, like, so, do, you know, do you read any books? Like, what's the last book you read? You understand? And so the funny part is a lot of people don't read books. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I had some chicks that'd be like, well, you know, I haven't, I haven't really been reading so much. I've been like, you know, busy. I kind of listen to audios and podcasts. I'm like, yeah, that, that's cool. You know, man, you know, it's, it's crazy. Cause you know, you're, you're very attractive, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I was thinking about giving you my number, but I'm not really sure, but you know, but anyway, so what's going, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm already disqualifying myself. I'm like, well, listen, I don't know if this is going to work out, even though, we haven't really established that. The The frame that I'm coming at it is that, look, I'm evaluating you. You have to let me know that you're good enough to fuck with me. 
You feel what I'm saying? But again, it's a different mindset. It's a different mind frame. Because again, a lot of guys who don't understand game and don't have game, they'll, they'll be like, man, why we always got to go and approach the girls? Why we always got to go and do this? We got to, you know, we got to be the ones that's going to risk rejection and blah, 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 blah. They look at it that way. I'm looking at it like, listen, I'm giving you the opportunity to fuck with me. That's why I'm even approaching you. I'm giving these chicks opportunities. That's how you got to look at the shit. You see what I'm saying? That's how you got to look at the shit. Because what you guys don't understand is, is that when a woman is feeling you, when a woman is into you, right? She doesn't want to fuck it up. She's nervous. She wants to make sure that you like her. So if you're putting it into the, the frame of her having to, uh, uh, you know, like evaluate her, to, for her to basically like, you know, prove herself to you and she's actually doing it, that's showing that she gives a fuck. That's showing that she actually wants to do that. And even, and the funny part is sometimes even if she initially wasn't fucking into you, she will get into you based off of how you frame the fucking situation. You feel what I'm saying? But see, the reason why a lot of you guys don't get uh, uh, the girls is because you come up to the situation with your hand out, with your dick in your hand. You know, you're fucking begging the chick to, to, to accept you. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you got you got you got you got to be at the point where you're able to do those things and interact with women like that, period. I don't give a fuck if she's a 10 or a 5 or a 2. It don't get I don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you get them to fuck with you. See, you guys got to get out that mindset or that mind frame of I got to pretend or I got to fake or I got to do all this extra shit to get her to like me. You feel what I'm saying? Because this is the thing. Even when you frame it like that and you do it like that, right? There's still going to be some chicks who are going to be on some wishy-washy shit. Some chicks who's going to try to test you and all that other stuff. But at the same time, it doesn't fucking matter. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Because I'll be seeing all over the internet where it's like dudes, they, 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 they're coming at the game where they're, they're coming up with all these tactics of... How to get, oh, let me, you know, how do we get this girl or how do you get her more engaged and how do you get her to feel this? Fuck her. Fuck that. I mean, no, that shit is so whack to me. I'm like, yo, what is it with, with dudes where they're always trying to fucking bend over backwards and, and, and kiss ass to, to, to fuck with chicks? You feel what I'm saying? I'm telling you, dude, the, the game is about you. You see that hot chick, you approach her, you step to her, you talk to her. If she's on some bullshit, you keep that shit moving. Go to the next hot chick. If she's feeling it, you you keep that shit pushing. Most of the time, uh, most of y'all dudes don't even approach. Y'all don't even go and talk. Y'all don't say shit because y'all scared. Y'all scared of your ego getting bruised. Y'all finding ways to protect your ego. That's why you're not really, uh, uh, uh you know, getting shit popping in the game. You're trying to protect your ego. You're trying to make sure, oh, what's the way that I can make sure that this girl doesn't reject me? Is What's the, the easiest way to get over the rejections? How do I not get rejected? Blah, blah, blah. No, fuck all of that. Get rejected. Let that girl tell you no. You understand what I'm saying? Embrace that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, do, like, Man, it's like cats be so fucking scared to, to 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 deal with women. Like, yo, just deal with them, man. You see a hot chick, you step up to her. You feel what I'm saying? And the thing is, again, when you work on your game, you're gonna understand. You, uh, look, a lot of because a lot of guys they'll, they'll be like, "Well, I don't I don't know what to say to a girl." You understand? They're like, "I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say." Women basically t give you all the shit to say to them. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to take calls in five minutes. Women give you everything you need to say to them. So, you know, 
And, and, and the more creative you are, the more well-versed you are in talking to women, the easier it is to talk to the chicks. The easier it is to get them, uh, you know, to, to fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? But see, that's the thing. You got to go out there and, and interact because the girls, is gonna, is, they're going to give you the, the information on how to talk to them. And, and sometimes, you know, you, and this is the thing. Sometimes you got to come at this shit so arrogant with these, with these chicks because they're constantly, see, chicks like to weed out the weak niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes this is why when you talk to a girl, she'll try to say something to throw you off. You understand? So you you go up and talk to a chick and you be like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? My name is Locario. What's your name? She's like, why you want to know my name for? You understand? They do stupid, goofy shit like that. You understand? So you you, you got you to gotta be able to know how to maneuver in these situations. All right, let me get some calls real quick. Yo, what's going on? Hello? Yo, what's popping? Yeah, it's Nez from London. Nez, what's going on, bruh? What's the deal? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's going on with you? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Now I was just um, listening to what you were saying just now. Mm -hmm. You know, about how you need to not be afraid of rejection and step to them mm -hmm. in a kind of arrogant way mm -hmm. sometimes. And um, I kind of came across a couple of girls in the past couple of weeks on the street, like one one girl from Wales I walked up to, and I was like, yeah, I just wanted to come say hello because I thought you looked quite cute. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she put on this voice and she was like, only quite. And I was like, yeah, that's what I just said. And then afterwards, <laughs> she started getting all, like, Larry and, uh, you know, started talking with her attitude and didn't really didn't really respond to me well. Mm -hmm. um, but there was, a, there was another girl who I went up to and I said, oh, yeah, you look really cute and stuff. And uh, she started putting on a sarcastic tone as well and was like, mm. oh, really? No one's ever said that to me before. And I was like, okay, well, it's the first time for everything, so there you go. And she <laughs> actually responded well to me. Right. And, I ended up I ended up getting a number afterwards. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It kind of I guess it works on the ones that are interested in you. To right. Begin with kind of. Right. Um, I don't know. And and you know what and you know what it is and this is this is what's good about what you did. You you know, she was like being sarcastic talking about oh no one's ever said that about me before blah 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 and you're like well it's the first time for everything. That that comeback is because that's you being witty. That's you. Uh, not sort of giving into her bullshit because a lot of times if, if a girl said it to uh, 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 some other guys they'd be all flustered they wouldn't know what to say they'll be all nervous now you see what I'm saying and so it's not even necessarily about saying the you know clever cute shit or whatever but it's more so maintaining that masculine frame that frame where whatever you say and do is not gonna fucking move me you feel what I'm saying so that that's all it is you know what I mean yeah, but you know, in in relation to that, I'd say, I mean, these these girls were were really good looking, in my opinion, mm. according to me. But there there have been other girls who I've been really attracted to, who, like I said, they have so many options and so many guys hitting them up. And if they ever like you just a little bit, they just completely diss you and disregard you and kind of look at you like give you cut you dirty looks and mm. you know be all rude and stuff when it's when they're speaking to you. So there's there's nothing really much you can do about that, is there? Nah, well, that's the thing. There's, you see, one one thing is you're going to have chicks who are just going to be like that because they're so used to a, like a bunch of guys coming up to them, trying to holler at them, and most of the guys who don't really have any any game, you know what I mean, or don't really know how to assert themselves or be confident in front of them, so they sort of first just off of, automatically just sort of lump you in those categories and then they react that way. Now, there's one of two things you can do. One, you could just charge into the game and just be like, well, fuck it, fuck it. I'm, I'm not even going to bother to even engage in this chick with this chick because I don't feel like, you know, putting time into it. Or two, you can actually engage in a situation and see if you could turn it around and, you know, if you want to. Now, if you choose the second thing, right, 
a lot of times what happens is is that and and I said this before in another video is that you have to always be different and you have to always become that different dude and so one of the things that you can do and this is something that you guys can do a lot of times if you're talking to a girl and you know she's hot and you know you you, you assume that you know a lot of guys are coming at her and she got that sort of arrogant I'm the hot chick and you know another guy hollering at me on that bullshit whatever what you can do is is a technique which is where you you call her out on what's going on or you make a, a like an obvious statement or you make a statement about the situation so basically what I mean is is that her her you know you, you're looking at the situation you're like okay she's hot a whole bunch of dudes um uh came up to her whatever right so you you use that situation in your game so for example you could say something like Yo, listen, you know, I know a, a few dudes probably came up to you and hollered at you um, today, but look, this is this is probably going to be the first time you've ever had a dude as fly as me talk to you, so just relax. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, as arrogant as that is, right, it, it comes across uh, differently than what most other guys would do, and all you're doing is using something that is relevant to the situation, because... Now she's like, oh shit, this guy's coming at me different and he understands what the fuck is going on. You see what I'm saying? Or you could do the reverse. You can reverse it on her. Be like, listen, um, you know, the reason why I came up to you is because uh, I know most guys usually don't come up to you because, you know, I don't know, maybe like they're, they're just all into looks and, you know, I'm not all into looks and I know you have more to offer than looks because, you know, I've, I, I always talk to really hot girls, but today I decided, you know what, I'm going to talk to a girl who I think is like decent looking, but I want to see her personality. So you're basically sort of dissing her saying, look, you know, you're not really that hot. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, but you're doing it in a playful way. You feel what I'm saying? So again, it's different. See, that's the key thing. Difference is going to make the difference. You see what I'm saying? That's what you got to yeah, understand. Well, maybe I can say, yeah, maybe I can say something like, oh yeah, I know a lot of guys don't come up to you because you look a little bit, you know, aggro and, and vex like you're going to start a fight and punch, somebody in, your face, punch right. somebody in the face or something and then you know that might start to get her like loosening up a bit and saying oh no I'm not like that I'm not aggressive I'm not you know, right and and look, and look you can right and you can just basically basically ask her anything or say anything but the the more different the the, the 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 more unique the shit you're saying the more different it throws her off because again this is stuff she's probably never experience before and also what you can like i said you can use the situation use the 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 actual um you know real life things to bring light to the situation so for example when i'm on online dating um there's a message that i send women the first time um i'm not gonna say the exact message because i want all y'all using it and then y'all gonna fuck it up for me but because <laughs> i still be out here trying to get shit positive but basically the message that i send her the, the girl is i say something like you know like, uh, how many messages do you think we need to send each other on here before we decide to get a drink? You understand? Because I'm using the real life situation of there's going to be a, people sending messages back and forth and doing all this other shit in order to make something happen. So you're using an obvious situation to create the conversation, to create the situation or the dialogue. So instead of just being a regular guy coming up to her and saying, hey, what's up? Hi, or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? You, you take a different route. You see what I mean? So you go up to a girl, be like, hey, let me ask you a question. Have you ever uh, got approached by a guy as sexy as me? You feel what I'm saying? Boom, you did something yeah. that she probably never heard of before, and she probably laugh at the shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then now you yeah, start the I conversation. Think, think, yeah, but I think on, on Tinder online, it's probably more easier to get dissed because I've, mm. I've had girls match with me on Tinder, and I've messaged them, some of them, and then you know, the messages they sent, sent back were, were kind of like... Um, and rude and stuff like that mm. and then you know I got unmatched afterwards so mm. I think in real life it might be a bit more the dynamic is kind of different um, mm. you know they wouldn't be as inclined to diss you to your face even even if they don't like you right. but it might be there might be a higher chance of you being able to turn it around and also I mean when it comes to these tests is it worth me trying to um, like pass these tests that they might pass or should I just you know forget it and not waste my time and move on to the next one well, this is the thing. It all de again. It all depends on what you want to do. Again, see, in this in this game, 
you got to pick your poison because what it is is you could just walk away and go to the next girl, right? Or you could try to seduce this girl. So it all depends on what you're trying to do. See, you could walk away to the next girl. The next girl could cooperate real easy and you get her information. Or you could try to seduce this girl right here and work on it to see if uh, she'll make it happen. You understand? But either way, it's not really guaranteed. So it all depends on what you feel like doing. So me, what happens is um, I, you know, I'm more so into the aspect of attraction, meaning I like the fact of going up to chicks, interacting with them and finding the ones who are attracted to me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not really like, like, uh, you know, cause, cause you have a thing where we, when we talk about seduction, where you're sort of seducing the chick who's sort of wishy-washy, the girl who's sort of in the middle, the girl who's sort of giving you the shit test. That's where the seduction comes in. You see what I'm saying? So that's where the, the, the extra shit comes in. So my thing is, I like to focus more on the attraction because that, to me, um, is the easier thing to do versus... So, for example, if I see if I talk to 10 girls, one of them out of the 10, right, is probably going to be extremely cooperative to me, right? So I'm going to go through all nine until I get to that 10th and then I'll fuck with the 10th. Now, a guy who's trying to seduce, he'll start with the first one and he'll he'll keep trying to make something happen with the first one even though she's giving him resistance. Now, he may get it or he may not. He'll try with the second one. She's giving him all this resistance. He may get it or he may not. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, it all depends yeah. on what you're trying to do. It all depends on, you know, how much time you want to put into it or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, one time I was talking to a, a girl from, where was she? From Poland or something like that. Mm. And I was explaining something to her. We were talking about something. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm Poland. I'm not stupid. And I thought I was like... But uh, really, I always both, but it's just from Poland, didn't it? And then, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, 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 very funny, blah, mm. blah, blah. Right. So, I mean, I mean, that kind of thing is kind of risque, but I remember you were telling me, you were saying once that one time that you were sitting on the, at the train station with Miles, and mm. there was this girl there, and you were putting ideas into her head about having sex with Miles kind right. of or something. Right. And then she ended up going home with him right. that, that day. Mm -hmm. But that, like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really, I'm kind of apprehensive about doing that type of thing because I think that I'm going to mess it up um, by being, like, too forward and too aggressive and too, mm -hmm. too risque. Mm -hmm. um, so what should I do there? Well, that's the thing. Every, again, everything is a risk. Every, every, uh, every move is still a risk. Meaning that if I, if I tell a chick... You know, I'm talking to her and I say, yo, I want to fuck the shit out of you, right? And, I, and I'm basically straight direct. What's going to happen is either she's going to want to do it because she's that into me or she's not and it's not going to happen, right? Or what's going or what's going to happen is is that let's say you try, you don't do that and you, you sort of slow it down. You sort of go indirect. It's still a risk because now you're risking more time. You see what I'm saying? Because you could go through all of that shit and she's still might not fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. you know. So, it's all either way, you're risking something. You feel yeah, me? It's, a, it's all about finding the balance, I think. I right, mean, I right, right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, yeah. About, the, it's about finding that balance. You just gotta, you gotta figure out, you gotta pick your poison. See, I'm the type of nigga, I'll talk to 10 chicks to find that one versus spending a whole bunch of time on one girl. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't like spending too much time on a chick. Like, I like to escalate fast. I like to see, if, is this chick willing to get down now? You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got time to waste. You see what I mean? So that's how that's how I usually do it. Now, the other way, nothing really wrong with that. You understand? Because usually I'll spend a lot of time on, on a girl once I see that she's interested. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to create interest. You understand what I'm saying? So... So I'll yeah. spend I'll spend a few hours with a chick where I see it gradually getting to fucking. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna spend hours trying to get a girl to show interest. Like no, I'm not doing that shit. You see what I mean? And so, you know, it all yeah, depends no, on how I you wanna do. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean this week I'm gonna try and bump it up and probably approach like groups of girls, mm. groups of four or five girls walk in 
all together and just like try and seduce the one or chat up the one that I like the most in the group and then try and get a number in front of all their friends. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll, right. I'll uh, update you next week or something, yeah? All right, cool. No bad, yeah. man. Yeah, let me, thanks, hit, me up and thanks, let me, hit me up and let me know, all right? Okay. All, all right, right thanks. thanks for the help, yeah. Talk to you later. Right, I'm going to let you, man. Bye. Right. Peace. Bye. Right. Peace. All right, man. So I see, I see y'all in the chat room trolling again. Yo, what's going on? What's popping? What's good, Locario? This is Sean, bro, from North Carolina. Sean, what's going on, man? What's the What's the deal, bro? I kind of hear like an echo. Like, am I echoing you, or is that just me? I don't know. It's probably just you, cause I, everything sounds fine to me. All right, cool, cool. That's all that matters, then. Right. Bro, so I, I, I recently, you know, just had my first girlfriend. So mm. hopefully everybody in the chat doesn't eat me up too much, you know, for saying that. Mm. But, you know, it's true. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm 20, and uh, we were together. We actually just broke up. We were together for two months. Now, I want you to be completely honest with me. I'm, mm. You know, even though this is my first girlfriend, you know, I'm not a virgin. Like, I have, like, eight or nine bodies. But this is, like, my first time, you know, being committed. Right. So what I'm saying is we were together for two months mm -hmm. and the most sexual favors that I got from this chick was two blowjobs. Is that an L? Wait, so so this was a, this was a girlfriend? Yeah, th th this was my girl. We were rocking steady. And, and so, I, wait, wait, I, so, I wait, hold on, hold on. I, wait, so, so y'all been together for, y'all been together, y'all were together as boyfriend and girlfriend for two months. Right, exactly. And wait, and so and so, how long were y'all together before y'all was boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, I, I consider from the first day, you know, because because uh, let's say I met her on a Tuesday, mm. we went on a date that that Friday, mm. and, you know, and, and we've been going strong ever since then. So you know, I I consider you know from the time I went up to her and you know got her number and everything, you know, till the day we broke up, you know, us being together just because we've been in contact ever since. Well, see, that's what I, that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to get the difference because see, so you're basically saying y'all were y'all were together in all for two months, period. Oh yeah, 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 yeah period, yeah. All right, and 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 so why did y'all break up? Shoot, man, it, it, it's an unbelievable story, but I'll tell you anyway. I feel like the guys all joy. So we went to this concert, to this rave, actually, kind of like a small thing at the Ritz in Raleigh, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's it's it's. It was some, some smaller bands performing, but mm. uh, it was one in particular uh, dude that got on the stage that I recognized. You know, if I saw him today, I'd recognize him. But anyways, you know, we took like a week off, you know, just because like uh, I noticed whenever it, it, it's so much to go with the story. But here's here's the main part. Mm. I noticed whenever you get in a relationship with a chick and you go public that other chicks, you know, started to become interested in you, okay? Right, right. So so I began to feel myself a little bit, and, uh, you know, we took a break. We took a break, and uh, needless to say, that break, somehow, some way, I still do not know to this day, one of the performers from the concert was her Man Crush Monday, and I went to his page, and she was his Women Crush Wednesday. So somehow they're together now. So wait, so... So wait, so some other dude, so now y'all broke up and she's with some other nigga. Exactly. Well, first of all, let me tell you something, man. The fact, the fact that, okay, okay, look, this girl was not your girlfriend. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and I've said this before, chicks are supposed to graduate to girlfriend. You understand? So you're supposed to be dating a girl then she becomes your girlfriend, right? So first of all, two months is two months is is like really quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To be making a chick your girlfriend uh, anyway. Okay. And and you said and you said that it, yeah. So y'all never had sex? Is that what you said? Never had sex. Uh, we the, the only reason why we didn't do it, you know, uh, I guess the the one real opportunity that we had because she still stays with the parents. She still stays with the parents, uh, but she's in college and everything. Mm. And um, and I, I still stay with mine as well. I'm in college as well. Mm. But uh, we had one opportunity to do it at her house, and I didn't have a condom. She wasn't trying to let me raw dog it. 
See, that's why you guys gotta always have them condoms, man. I just did a video about that the other day. You gotta, you gotta have the shit. But, man, so look, man, this is the thing, man. Like, don't, don't even look. Don't even sweat that. First of all, two months. See, let me tell you guys something out there, man. Just keep hooking up with these chicks. You understand? Uh huh. Just keep uh-huh. hooking up with them. Hang out with them. Fuck the shit out of them. Keep it moving, or keep hanging out with them and fucking them. Now, what's gonna happen is, cause who who's the one who brought up the girlfriend boyfriend shit? That's the thing. Like, no nobody ever brought it up. It's just like we were on each other's Instagram. Well, then that, well, then y'all was never. That's what I'm saying. Y'all was never boyfriend and girlfriend. This is what I'm trying to say. This is this is what I'm trying to get at. You guys were right. hanging out. You said she gave you like a blowjob or some shit. Oh yeah, she gave me uh, several blowjobs. Okay, so you were you were hanging out with a chick who gave you a few blowjobs, and now she's fucking with another nigga. That's all that happened. Y'all were never together. Right. Until until you and her have a discussion that says me and you are boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all are not boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all are just two people fucking around. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now the reason why I'm saying that is because. You have to understand the the labels give you the idea of what are the the parameters of the situation. So if if she's your girl and y'all are in a monogamous relationship, that means she's not supposed to fuck with another dude. You see what I'm saying? So she didn't leave you for some other dude. She was fucking with another dude the whole time because y'all were never boyfriend and girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got to make sure if that's your girl, that that's your girl. If she's not, then she's free to do whatever the fuck she want to do. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is when you fuck with these girls, right? You you you, you hang out with them, you have sex with them, you hook up, you do whatever you got to do. And then at some point, she's going to say to you, hey, what does this mean? Where is this going? You know, I want to be with you. Then at that point you say, okay, uh, you know, if you want to be her her uh, her boyfriend or whatever, be like, all right, cool, well, let's 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 be together, let's let's be, you know, me and you. Then then at that moment, then you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. That's what it is. I guess with this with this one in particular chick, like I guess what's wrong with this one because like you broke it down really really early in the video when you said a uh, different you know aspect of game, you know, looks, money. You know, status and all that other shit. Mm-hmm. So me, I, I've, I've always, I've, I've been blessed. You know, first of all, I'm, I'm light complexioned. I'm six four. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm slim. You know, and I and I got a nice muscle frame on me. So I've never had to do too much of the extra shit to get women's attention. Mm-hmm. This girl, on the other hand, was one of the few girls like in my whole life that I've actually approached because I was interested in, mm-hmm. and I actually invested in. You know, like it, it felt different and it kind of stung a bit because I felt like I was invested in her. Mm-hmm. And uh, it taught me something, though, so, like, I, I'm appreciative of that, you know, like, I, I never actually thought of myself as, like, a guy that could actually go up to a team and, and, and rub a little bit, you know, talk to her, make small talk, and, uh, and, and actually get her interested. Because I didn't even really ask for a number, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I went up to her, talked to her, and then I walked away, and then she ended up talking to somebody who knew me, I guess, a mutual friend, and gave me her number, and I was like, wow. Mm. You know, and, and, and that's something that was, you know, we, we got to stop underestimating ourselves, you know, like, like I'm, I'm sure if I would have asked for a number right then and there, you know, versus the, the whole plant theory that uh, I had to let the plant grow and mm. that's the reason why she was attracted. Uh, right, right. I really don't know. <laughs> right. And, I really and, don't know. And so this, this is what I say to you. This is what I say to you, man. If, you know, because it seemed like you, you really like this chick and all that other stuff, right? So yeah. the thing is, and and so what happened is, or, or what? This is what I'm, I'm trying to get at. So, did she specifically say to you that she don't want to see you anymore? Don't want to fuck with you? No. In fact, during our break, she contacted me one time to let me know that some dudes were fucking with her, and uh, and I checked the guys, and you know, I, I showed her, you know, that I that I checked the situation, that everything's fine, and. You know, at the end, she was like, I just want to say thank you for being so nice to me. And I was like, you know, anytime, that's what I do. Wait, 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 wait. Let's back up. Hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up. She hit you up and said some dudes was doing what to her? Some dudes were, like, like fucking with her. Like, I guess, like, she 
she she's like kind of like a makeup. She's like a cosmetologist uh, major, mm-hmm. and you know she she does herself really well. Like she she's well built, mm-hmm. but you know she doesn't look as good you know naked face as she does with makeup. And I guess they kind of shoot me one day with no makeup. Mm-hmm. And a couple dudes were like teasing her or whatever, and I knew the dude, so you know I basically checked them. You know she hit me up. You know told me that I hurt her feelings and. You know, she, I, I her response was, the thing that she said to me was, hey, uh, some of your friends were teasing me today. And I was like, hey, what is that with my friends? What the fuck? And so, you know, I went up to the dudes or whatever, and I, and I deaded the situation, let her know that everything was fine. And, Man, and, see, you, see, see, you, <laughs> you're doing way too much, bro. Uh, see, look, look, you it's know, like, it's funny. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> excuse me, because that, that, that made me confused on my role. Her, that's know, what I'm. This is what I'm trying to say, dude. To this is what I'm trying to say, man. This is what I'm trying to say, man. You, 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 you gotta look. You're giving her boyfriend energy. You ain't even her boyfriend. You feel what I'm saying? If she's going through whatever, whatever, let her do. Let her figure that shit out on her, on her own. This is what what you need to do, and this is what I was saying before. Is you need to just chill with her, hang out, hook up with her. And then keep doing that, and then at some point, let and, and, and don't worry about her fucking other other dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Let her fuck other dudes. Y'all not together, or whatever. Do you? Do you? I'ma holler at you when I holler at you. I see you when I see you. Then what's gonna happen is is that since she likes you and since y'all are chilling and doing what y'all gotta do, at some point she's gonna be asking, so what is this and where is this going and all of that. Then at that point you can say. Okay, let's be boyfriend girlfriend, and then that's when you can go. And if she's feeling like she's having a problem or something, you could talk to her about it, and y'all could figure it out. Until then, don't do none of that shit because now what you what you're doing is you're asserting yourself as like this like this Captain Save a Whole type of dude. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I mean? So so that's what I'm saying. All you all you got to do is hook up with this chick because. Because from what it seemed like, it seemed like got it and break up. It seemed like she just started fucking with somebody else, and it and it kind of fizzled out with y'all too. Is that is that what it what happened? Like, yeah, like like it, it, it kind of hurts. Ooh, seems like on paper she found like a better option. You know, she she found a guy you know that was touring, you know, doing shows and shit. She was really into music. Mm-hmm. You know, he was like he was like five years older than both of us, though, which was pretty bizarre. But you know, that's besides the point. But. You know, he definitely, you know, obviously he has more money than me, so, you know, that doesn't matter. The game is the deciding factor always, but, you know, like, to me, you know, it just seemed like, you know, she she found a kiss, you know? See, and see, look at this, see, look at what you're doing. Hold on, hold on, let me stop you for a second, let me stop you. You see how you comparing yourself to this other dude? You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. your comparisons... Are making you sound like I can't even hear it in your voice. You sound like you're you're feeling a little insecure, comparing yourself to this dude. Now, yeah, but it's hard, it's hard not to. You know? But no, it, but that's but that's what I'm saying. It's not hard not to. You just gotta understand something. This is why I'm saying because look, that same energy you're putting out, she's gonna feel that. You see what I mean? She's gonna feel that, which is gonna make her want to fuck with him. And and probably put your ass in the friend zone or just sort of like, you know, be on some whatever shit with you. Because again, this is this why this is why I said this is the third time I'm gonna say it. Hang out with the chick, hook up with that girl, and you keep it pushing. You understand? Because what you wanna happen is is this, and this goes for any girl that you're dealing with. You want you always need to have it in a situation where the girl is coming at you. You understand what I'm saying? But every time she's dealing with you, she's having a good time. You understand? So, for example, if I'm dating this girl, the same girl, I hit her up. I'll be like, yo, what you, when you free? She's like, on free Friday. Okay, cool. We're going to get together Friday, right? And then I say, listen, uh, we're going we gonna to go half on this hotel. Y'all go half on a hotel. You fuck the dog shit out of her. And then after y'all finish fucking, you might get a little bite to eat. And you say, well, yo, I had fun. Um, I'll, I'll holler at you later. You feel what I'm saying? Then you hit her up maybe the next week or something. Yo, what you doing? Oh, I'm not... Okay, c- yeah, come over to the house real quick. You know, I got the house to myself. She come over, she give you some head or whatever, and then you be like, listen, I got some shit to do. Uh, I'm gonna holler at you later. 
You feel what I'm saying? Then you hit her up the next week. You, then you keep doing that. Now, what's going to happen is, since she's having a good time with you and you're so carefree about it and you're so like whatever about it and so blase about it, she's going to be like, damn, like, you know, what's going on with this guy and what does this mean? And I like him because, you know, we keep fucking and it's good, but, you know, um, like, what else is he doing? Does he have other girls? How come he's not sweating me? How come this? How come that? All these things are going to go on in her head, which is going to make her more attracted to you. You see what I'm saying? And then so at some point, she's going to be like, yo, what does this mean? Where is this going? And blah, blah, blah. And I think about you and all this other stuff. She's going to be calling you more and all this other stuff because what you're doing is, is that you're engaging with her and having good times with her. And at the same time, you're falling back. You feel what I'm saying? So it's creating that uncertainty to make her want to fuck with you. Now, the position you're in now is is a bad one because what you're doing is you're feeling insecure about her fucking with this other dude. And so what's going to happen is, is that that insecurity is going to seep out when you're dealing with her. And then she's going to eventually slowly but surely push away from you. You feel what I'm saying? Because you, you got to be the dude who you fuck the shit out of her. And send her on her way. And be like, I don't give a fuck who you fucking with. Have fun with uh, homeboy. That's good. That's that's great. Matter of fact, after you fuck her, be like, yo, uh, you know, uh, what's up with your boy? Yeah, you, I think you should go see him next week. Go go holler at your boy. Encourage her to fuck with other dudes. You see what I'm saying? That's going to make her be like, damn, like, what's, what's up with this guy? You see what I mean? And so that's what you got to understand. Like, you can't be in that fucking, you know, because I already see it. And I can hear it in your voice. You 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 you're going down simp road right now with this chick, you know, oh, saving her man. from her from her battles and shit, being the knight in shining armor. You don't want to do that shit. Hell no. You see what I'm saying? You want to know the fucked up? You know what? Like like you just missed some game. Like some game that mm-hmm. almost is too familiar to me. Right. I think the game that you just said to me is the game that he was running on her mm-hmm. just off the strength that. No, she hit me up a few times, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. And, and I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. But, 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 hey, but I got to ask this in this last question. All right. Basically, uh, so do you think, and I'm going to tell you a, a couple more statements. Uh, my, my question is, do you think, with what I'm about to tell you, that I lost, uh, how can I put this, the, the control of the relationship that I was ultimately getting fixed? Mm-hmm. So you're at the... Uh, we had our formal, you know, college dance or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, we we get in there, you know, we had have a, we had had a couple of uh, shots of syrup before we go inside, so you know, you know we're well dressed, and I'm feeling myself for whatever reason. He's not, you know, in the level as far as like you know feeling social and you know, uh, I guess smiley and, and you know feel, you know just feeling right there. Like she's mm-hmm. more you know introverted, mm-hmm. and uh, when we get inside, I definitely you know. I definitely caught a lot of looks from the ladies, mm. but she seemed kind of unbothered by that. You know, like with the male ego, you know, it it, it sounds kind of narcissistic, but in a way, I kind of wanted her to be a little jealous. You know, mm. like like I'm catching all of these looks from these chicks, and you're, you're supposed to be like a chick that's rocking with me. Mm. I, I want you to, to to you know what I'm saying, like squeeze my arm, like hey, don't don't look over there or something like that. So, mm. do you think just off the strength of a woman? you know, not really being bothered by, you know, me gaining all this attention from other women, uh, you know, was, was kind of like a sign that I had lost, you know, the, the power of the relationship and, mm. you know, and, and it was even a point in the day, it's sweet, dude, this, I, I didn't, it didn't even hit me until the next day, you know, I walked in the door, you know, ahead of her, and I, I don't hold the door for her, and when she gets inside, she rolls her eyes at me, she's like, you can't even hold the door? Now, was that, like, like, like her vision of you, or was that, like, her, you know, caring and wanting, wanting me to be a gentleman? So I just completely overlooked that. Well, what it seems like is this, is that she, see, and this is the thing, she, she, it seems like she knows she has you in some form or fashion. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Meaning that. Yeah, and I can see that. Right. It means, so what I'm saying is. She feels like because again, when you do in certain things, see, women are gonna women are gonna respond to you based off of how you come at them and how you position yourself, how you assert yourself. So, right now, it seems like you're you're positioning yourself as this nice guy, needy guy, Captain Saverhole type of dude. 
You see what I'm saying? So so what happens is is that when she go into the to the to the spot with you and all these chicks is checking you out, she don't need to feel jealous because she knows she got you. You feel what I'm saying? It's that type of shit where it's it's like she because again, this is and this is what I was saying before, when you have to chill with her, hook up with her, hang out with her, tell her I'll see you later, whatever, whatever, because she won't know she has you. She won't know how you're feeling. She's confused. That confusion, that uncertainty, is what keeps her on her toes. You see what I'm saying? That's what, and again, this is what I tell guys. I, I did a video about this a long time ago. I, I, I titled it, um, I think it was, You Have to Leave Women in a State of Confusion. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, for example, if I go up to that girl that you're dealing with, and I ask her, and I say, hey, and I start talking about you, and I say, hey, do you think he's cheating on you, Right? And if she if she says, hell no, he ain't cheating on me. If she just says it quickly like that, that means she knows she got you. That means her respect level for you is like in the ground to a certain extent. But if I go up to the girl and I say, hey, you think your man's cheating? If she pauses to think, she's like, well, um, you know, if she has that type of energy, that means that, she, you know, she is in a good position. Your girl should not be so sure that you're not fucking around on her. You understand what I'm saying? If your girl is sure that you're not fucking around on her, that means she knows she got you. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why she can do shit like tell you, oh, you ain't gonna hold the door for me, blah, 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 and acting all funny style. You see what I'm saying? Because she knows she got you, but also the, the ironic part about that is her level of respect goes down for you because she knows she got you. You see what I'm saying? Just to add this in. Just to add this, I know your wife is white and everything, and mm -hmm. you know I know women. So this is a white girl that I'm dealing with, and mm -hmm. we live in the south. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what kind of cultural influence that might have on her ass, but you know that's just what it is. Oh, so you say you say she a white girl? Yeah, it's a white girl. She, she's a white girl. We're, we we live in the south. So, right. You know she might already feel that sense of entitlement, especially with me. Being Wait, so black. hold on, hold on, hold on. Man. You had a you had a white girl tell you to hold the door for you with an attitude. Oh, nigga! Damn! Come on, son! <laughs> oh. Come on, son! Like that. You can't! You can't! Come oh. on, son! That's crazy, son! That's a whole nother level of disrespect, bro. That's a whole nother level of disrespect, my nigga. Like, come on, son! You crazy? Okay. But she did. She did blow me that night, though. Not that it, not, it probably doesn't matter. Nigga, fuck that, that shit! Fuck that shit! That is some other world shit. Nigga, you got, you got to, man, you got to be careful. Listen, 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 listen. If you fucking with white girls, this is a whole nother topic. You fucking with white girls, let me, let me tell you, because I'm a white girl connoisseur, okay? So, <laughs> okay. I'm an expert with fucking with white bitches, okay? Listen. You cannot, dude, you got to, you got to look at these white girls with a fine tooth comb, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure they ain't on that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Because you said, you said we gotta look at him with a with a sense of kindness. With no, with a with a, with a fine tooth comb, meaning you gotta fucking you gotta really really break shit down and 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 look at who you fucking with when you fucking with these white girls. Because you don't want to be fucking with no white supremacists. You feel what I'm saying? And and because I'm like, damn, she told you to hold the door with some attitude shit, like you her butler or some shit. Man, nigga. Oh. <laughs> Nah, and, and, <laughs> come on, brother. Listen, listen. You gonna have to, you gonna have to check her and then check her again and see what's really going down. You gotta be careful, bro. Because, listen, bro. Like, real talk. This, this is, this is on a whole nother level, dude. You gotta, nah, son. Dude, man. Listen, I would charge your ass to the game, or, 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 um, I would basically be man. smashing. Have her just as like a, a a a fuck buddy type situation, and then feel her out and and fucking and make sure she ain't on no bullshit. Now I would say don't even fuck with her. Period. Just be like okay, I'm, you you want some bullshit? I'm good. But if you trying to really make something happen, you gotta really see who you fucking with in this situation. You feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> cause, bro, I don't know if it's something about me, but it, it's like the white girls who were like closet racist but at the same time they're open racist like white girls that'll tell you let's say for instance I'm not allowed to date black guys okay 
Wait, wait, say that again. Say that again. Oh, like the white girls that will tell you straight up, I'm not allowed to date black guys. Like those white girls. She said, so you have, you fucking girls. with the white girls who say they're not allowed to date black guys? Dude, those are the ones that always show me interest. Nigga. It's weird. What the fuck is I don't know what Yo. the going on. Oh my god, my dude. What the fuck, bro? You you want some other shit, my nigga. Man. Yeah, I, I think I gotta move to Cali. I gotta get the fuck out the south. Nigga, you better get out. You in that get out situation, bro. You gotta get out that situation, <laughs> my nigga. It's real talk. I'm 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 concerned right now. <laughs> it's like shit. Oh my god. Oh man, you got you got you got some things to think about, bro. You got some things to think about, okay? So, so, dude, remember, man, like, dude, get off that, get off that, that crazy shit, man. All right? Yeah, for sure, dog. I'm gonna drink some milk and then drink some milk. Get to, all right, bro. I'm holla at you, man. All right, all right. Uh, peace, man. You got, you gotta pray for that dude. Shit. Y'all gotta pray for that dude, man. That's hilarious. Yo, what's going on? Uh, what up, Lucario? What's popping? Hey, what's the deal, bro? Hey, so this might sound crazy, but I, I, I like, kind of have a, you know, similar situation set up before. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so I, I met this, this um, chick, you know, she was my, you know, co-worker. All mm-hmm. right, then we, like, started dating. Mm-hmm. Then, like, um, you know, she would basically, like, you know, pay for, like, everything. She would pay for my, you know, food, drinks, all that. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so, like, on the, you know, first the uh, first date, we, like, made out. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. But I, I like, tried to, t- I, um, tried to take her back to, like, my place. And, and um, she was like, nah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, back. Or whatever. So, we, so, like, we basically went on, like, four dates day so far and mm. she ain't letting me smash mm. you know what I'm saying wait, so you um, said wait hold on you said you, then, went on, you said you went on four dates and she still didn't you guys still having that sex yeah oh my goodness but the like thing is though yeah, yeah no but, but the like thing is though it's like like she always pays for my shit mm. you know what I'm saying but the thing is the um, last date we like went on uh, I think it was like Wednesday um what you call it she was acting mad funny. Mm. Like, she wouldn't let me touch her. And she, she like, barely let me kiss her and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, like, she was, she was just acting funny. So, what do you think I should do in this, like, situation? Nigga, you need to charge that chick to the game, bro. You need to charge gotcha. that chick to the game because she she could she could be the type of chick who just has, uh, like, issues with sex. You feel what I'm saying? Meaning that... She could have some some shit that doesn't happen to her, where she you know feels a certain way about sexual interaction. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, she like told me you know yeah. some like crazy shit happened with her you know past. That's what right. That's shit. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So she likes you, but she can't you know she can't really do nothing because she has that you know that fucking uh, yeah. you know that thing that that thing that's blocking it. So. What what you need to do is you need to steer clear from her until you know what I'm saying. Like if, if she comes back to you at some point where she's cool with everything, then that's one thing. But she needs to go seek help. You know what I'm saying? And then so you need to stay away from her because you don't want to end up doing some shit. And then she fucking um, you know she she feels like you pressured her. Or you nah, you don't want none of that shit going down. So yeah, you got you got to tell you got to charge it to the game at this point. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, got you. Uh, like, uh, like it was crazy too, cause, um, so like after the first date, then, cause like we're like coworkers, so I I basically see her every day. Right. So, um, then I I, I like met up with her, and like you know, um, during work, mm. and, and I was like, listen, like, uh, like I don't want to, you know, like I don't want to, you know, just be like friends with you. So like you know, the next time we uh, like link up, let's uh, get a you know hotel and shit, and like uh, let's like make shit happen. Mm-hmm. And she was like, uh, "Can we just like hang out, like uh, like that, like kind of shit?" Um, but the thing is, is like she's always paying for me, so it's like that's like a kind of 
thing where it's like, all right, like I'm gonna use this um chick while I can. You know what I'm saying? Well, the thing so, is, look, tell her, look, this is what you got to do. I would say first, first I say charge ass to the game, right? But it, okay. it, and, and what I, and when you charge her. Tell her like, look, you know, you, you you're cool. I like you, but I think we should just be friends. You feel what I'm saying? Let's just be on some like friend zone her ass. You feel what I'm saying? And so like I should say that. Yes, you friend zone her ass. You feel what I mean? So that's that's what you got to do with her ass. And and the thing is, you got to get other chicks. Like I would say, don't even fuck with this chick on on some sex shit because she has issues. You see what I'm saying? She has issues, and you don't want to get in a situation where you're in a sexual situation with her, with her having those issues, and then you're going to be on some, uh, you know, uh, uh, bullshit because of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Got you. See, the, like, thing is, like, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, like, I'm putting put you in a friend zone, but, like, because, what, well, like, uh, like, I would do it, but the um, thing is, like, she, like, told me that one time. She was like, oh, you know, I have a boyfriend, like, you're, you know, just a friend. She, wait, she, meanwhile, she told you, yeah, you're uh, just a friend? Meanwhile, meanwhile, yeah, but, hold on, but, like, meanwhile, we're, like, kissing make, and, like, making out, like, you know, 10 minutes after. So, like, I think she was just, just, you know, talking shit. Man, you know dude, you gotta, but, you gotta charge that chick to the game. Listen, you want to fuck with girls who are giving you the 100% cooperation because right now you're just wasting time. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's a time waster. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She's wasting yeah. your time because you you're thinking, well, I, I'm sort of like near it. I can get it. I could probably make some happen, but she's already told you she had issues with sex. She's not having sex with you, um, and and so it's just a big waste of your time. Like you know, I understand you like getting her to to buy you shit and all of that. You could do that if you want, but just get her in some friend zone shit, and then you start fucking with other girls. You feel what I'm saying? And then keep that shit pushing because dealing with her is is you know it ain't a good idea. So. For this, like, you know, situation, I should be like, um, like, uh, let's just be, like, friends or, or um, whatever, and then should I, like, still chill her since she's, like, paying for me and shit? Yeah, you can still so chill I, with her if you want. Like, I can still chill, hang out, go to the movies, kick it or whatever, once in a blue moon, but you need to cut her off as a, a sexual option. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't even kiss this chick no more. You feel what I'm saying? Really? Like, straight up. Like, and, and, and... And hang out with her, uh, you know, just periodic, not, not too much. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's on some, yeah, we cool, yeah. but I'm sort of backing away a little bit because, you know, this, this shit don't make no sense. And the reason why I say, you know, just be keeping on some cordial friend type of shit is because, you know, this is a chick that you work with. So you don't want it to be a situation where she feels um, uh, like... To where, like, you dissing her or some shit, and then she starts getting all uh, attitude, and then now you got an issue at work. You see what I'm saying? This is why you got to be very careful uh, dealing with the chicks at work if you're going to deal with chicks at work. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So, you got you to so, like, be really uh, uh, yeah. uh, careful with that shit. So, like, in like, terms of, cause, like, I was planning on, you know, like, you know, trying to see if I could smash next week. <laughs> But like, nah, man, you gotta, I, um, you gotta keep I, that I like shit pushing. Right. Yeah. So, um, should I like hit her up? Be like, yo, let's just be like friends. Like, uh, uh like, uh, how should I like friends? Uh, you know, conversation. Yeah, this, that's it. Just be like, listen, you know, um, I have a good time with you, but I, you know, I feel like we just need to be friends. That's it. You know what that's I'm saying? True. Let's just, let's just kick it. Let's just be chill, and that's that. You just friends on her ass, and that's it. You see what I'm saying? And it, and, it, uh, and and don't don't get all don't get all confused by her trying to, cause some girls will try to like, at this point throw the vagina at you or act like they're gonna do nah nah we good we good we just you know, we're just cool, you understand and that's it, that's what you gotta do. And, and so you think eventually she's like gonna come back or, or like she's like fully charged after like friends on her. Yeah, she's fully charged. This is what I'm saying. Some look, this is what you gotta understand. You don't want to put... Look, fucking her is is going to be more trouble than not fucking her. Do you understand what I'm saying? In terms of work? Work and other shit. And like you... Let's say you, let's say you have sex with this girl and she, she, she says, oh, I feel like he, he took advantage of me. 
even though you didn't, but she feels like you took advantage of her because she was going through the bullshit of whatever she was going through with the other situation she had. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, I see what you. You see what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like the fact that the fact that she's not fucking you now is because she has issues with sex. So if you have sex with her, right, and she feels a certain type of way afterwards or even during. Like, let's say you start fucking her and she starts crying in, in the middle of you fucking her. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And now she's like, oh my, you, you see what I mean? Like, because let's say she got sexually assaulted or something, you know, in the past. Sure. And then those, those, yeah. those, those emotions and those feelings of her being sexually assaulted come back while you're trying to fuck her. Then she's going to associate that with you. Then she's going to be like, oh, so-and-so sexually assaulted me. And you're like, well, I didn't do anything. You did because you yeah. were fucking with a girl who had issues. This is what I'm telling you. Don't fuck with her. This is what I'm trying to tell okay, you. Okay, all right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's I what I'm saying, bro. Y'all got to be careful like, out clear here. Like, everything up for me. What happened? All right. Yeah, nah, that's what I'm like, saying. I'm like, like y'all got to be very you, careful. Uh, you cleared everything. Yeah. You see what I mean? Uh, uh, no, like I was saying, like you like basically clear everything up for me. Cause, yeah, like, man. You know, makes sense. Thanks for explaining it. Exactly, man. Right. Be, be careful out there, bro. All right. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. All right, man. Peace. All right, bye. Man, you guys got to be careful. This why, I, yo. This is why you can't have that get later die trying mentality. This is why you can't just be like, oh, I'm a fuck whatever, and you know, fucking chicks by any means. No. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on? Yo. What's popping? Who's this? Uh, this is Nathan calling first time. I was going uh, on with from you. Massachusetts. Yo, what's going on? You got you got uh, turn you got turn down your uh hello? your volume in the background because I'm hearing the, the echo. You got to turn down your volume on your computer or whatever. My bad, dog. All right. How's that? All right, it's good. What's going on? Um, so my question is basically just how do you figure out. Uh, what do you want in terms of like starting either like a relationship or multiple relationships or having like a rotation basically? Mm-hmm. Um, because I had, so I'm 22, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, basically I had uh, a three year relationship at 15 mm-hmm. and another one right after that mm-hmm. um, at 18. Um, so I'm still in the stage of trying to figure out what I want. Mm. And, um, so yeah, I was just wondering what, what's your opinion? So you're asking like, how do you figure out what you want as far as you saying like a long-term relationship or just relationships in general? Like relationships in general, because I, I've been learning about the game since, uh, Mm. 18. Mm. Um, so I know everything about it. Mm. So I'm sort of just like whatever about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been on a few dates the, this past year in 2017, but right now I don't really have a lot of shit going. Like I'm kind of broke mm-hmm. and I even had some woman offer to pay for dates. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just like, whatever. Um, I'm nervous as fuck right now. <laughs> no, no, you good. You good. Well, what is, this is the thing. Um, this is the thing. I will say this, you know, just in general, what, 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 what sometimes you're, you're going to have to just explore and do different things to sort of figure out what you like and what you don't like. You know what I'm saying? All right. So sometimes, you know, you just go out, meet a lot of different women, meet a lot of different types of women, uh, be in different types Mm -hmm. of situations, go on different types of dates, and then you start to realize and see, oh, you know, I notice I like women who act like this, or I notice I don't like women who act like that, or I notice I like women who, uh, you know... uh, look like this more or I don't like women who are like that or whatever. I like younger chicks or like older chicks, whatever it is. But it comes through, it comes from you uh, putting yourself out there and figuring out uh, what you want through the experiences. You see what I'm saying? All right. So what you're saying is basically just do the thing and then you'll figure it out from there. Right, right. Because a lot of times you're not going to know what you want until you are putting yourself in certain situations because you may think you want a certain thing then you do that thing and you realize you don't want it. Or you may think you didn't want something and then it happens and you're like, shit, I, I, you know, I, I actually like this now. So it's, it's that type of situation. You got to put yourself in there so you really figure out like uh, what it is that you like and don't like. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I, yeah I got you. Um, I also have one more other question. All right, go ahead. Um, 
So basically, uh, are you familiar with the channel Base Zeus? Familiar with who? Base Zeus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watch that channel. Yeah, Base Zeus is he's on yeah. point. Yeah, he's dope as fuck. <laughs> um, but so basically, he made a video. I forgot what the video is called, but in the video, he was talking about how, like, if you're a loser mm. and you don't have anything going on, and you get a girlfriend, he basically he basically said you're still a loser, but you. You just have a girlfriend, that's it. Yeah, it's true. And I was, <laughs> so, you agree with that? Or? Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. It's like anything else. <laughs> if you're a loser and you got a girlfriend, um, you're just a loser with a girlfriend. If you're a loser and you got money, you're just a loser with money. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you're a loser yeah. and you got a nice car, you're just a loser with a nice car. Is is this what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> everything that, you know, you know, in order for you to be a winner, that's all internal. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. You don't got nothing else yeah, to do you. with anything outside of you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, man. That's what it is. All right. All right, bro. Appreciate the call, man. Thanks, man. All right, later. Peace. All right. Yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, what's going on in the chat room, people? Let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, I found this number in my wife's phone. Who are you? Oh, Lord, here we go. Man, the trolls are coming out crazy today. Yo, what's going on? Hello? What's poppin'? Who's this? Hey, man, are you hitting up my girl on Instagram? Oh, my God, you fucking trolls are heavy today. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are in, in effect today. God damn, y'all are going in. Y'all are going in. Who's this? Yo, what's good? It's AC from, um, from Florida, bro. What's going on? What's popping? What's the deal with you? Not much, man. Hey, um, pick it back from the, uh, the last, uh, the second caller after the last caller. Mm-hmm. Talking about his girlfriend. Need to talk about when you uh, need to try to go to the game because you have fixed issues. Mm-hmm. Man, okay. So, uh, this situation. Um, Currently, I'm 30 years old right now, and I have a girlfriend, and mm. we've been going up for five years. Mm. Now, the reason why we went that long is because we have long distance. Right. Um, recently, I moved back to the same city that we are right now, because that's my hometown still, because I have a new job. Mm. And um, even though uh, things were going well, some parts were not going so well. Um, and there are some things that, well, you know how you say the truth is inside you all the time? Right. Well, here's the thing. The truth is the truth. Well, it's not me. Is that I want uh, I want to talk with other I want, I want to talk with other women. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and I and that's been happening for a while. And uh, and I was trying to and I was trying to see okay, what's she what's she bring to the table? Got to see other relationships like okay, what's the qualities of having a girlfriend? You know, she got to be this, got to be that. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the problem. The problem the problems are where it's not only that um, you may be nerds, whatever it might be, we cool as friends. And she's attractive, but lately, I just don't feel like having sex with her because um, cause that one occurring moment where she had a past situation where she wasn't comfortable or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, and I, I have sex with other women. And when I have sex with other women, you know, they were comfortable as hell. Like, they were mm-hmm. freaky as hell. They were comfortable, right? right. This particular chick, right, uh, she's not comfortable, you know. She I mean, I play foreplay, she's not... She wasn't comfortable with it. I tell her, like, listen, you got to be communicating with me, like, what you like, what you don't like. Mm-hmm. And she's not that much of a freak than I am or whatever. And every time I'm trying to, like, uh, talk to some sex shit, she still want to hear it. She still want to switch other conversations. I'm like, okay, that's strike one. Strike two is that we both have, like, different religious views. And that's another strike. And strike three mm-hmm. is, that, um, is that I'm being serious. The reason why she, mind you, we were friends before she came board, she came board with the girlfriend. The reason why she liked me a lot, she stopped being attracted to me because I was so ambitious as far as uh, what I did in college and how I got this many internships and, mm-hmm. you know, just being that dude. And, you know, she seen me with other women as well, like how other girlfriends here and there. And what, so, and wait, wait, and, and what? They, and say, hold on, hold on. You say you, you've been with her for five years, you said? Yeah, we've been there for five years, but uh, before we've been together, we've been friends mm-hmm. for about. Um, Three years before we came forth and a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And so, right. and so, what's what's making you stay in the relationship? I, look, to be honest, man, listen, I might be some part, 
some part of me, I'll be like that, but at the same time, like I have heart, like I have like I I don't want to hurt her, and I don't know how to let that go, uh, especially because we've been. It's one thing we've been together for like one year. I could let go with, without a problem, but five years. The reason why I still with her because of a couple of things because um, you know she she you know she's care for me. She she you know she's there for me from time to time. You know and she cooks and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know she kind of like uh, pushed me a little bit as far as my me, my, my career and such. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm. Um, stay with her, but at the same time, it's like if I'm gonna stay with her, like a long haul, as far as like talk about like possibly getting married or whatever, mm-hmm. I don't want a woman like uh, that I have to like be patient enough for her to be sexually, uh, sexually um, just comfortable with it. Right. And you know, that's been going on for years now, and I'm getting tired of it. And that's been, and one time, one time, I'm teaching that one time, uh, she, was, she, she came to see me. Out of, out of time when I was uh, in school and stuff mm. and she uh, not in school while I was uh, working whatever in a different city and we would sleep, we'd sleep together so in the morning right uh, like around 6 in the morning right I was just you know feeling on her you know touching her, touching her breasts you know trying to get a feel for her she was moving a little bit and she didn't say stop or whatever she didn't touch my hand and thing like that so I kept going mm. and I was just for the kids and thing you know I saw her having a panic attack mm, see this Man, she she got. I'm telling you, she got. She you know she's in a situation where she got issues with you know sex. She, you know, something happened where something you know she is triggering that stuff. So the thing is, you know, either you only got one or two choices. You're gonna have to live with that situation and deal with that if you want to stay with her, or you're gonna have to bounce. You know what I mean? Like there's no there's no other in between with it. You feel what I'm saying? Because but how can I bounce? How, how, how can I bounce? Because again, we've been we've been there for five years, so mm-hmm. and we keep in mind we almost broke up mm-hmm. I'm doing a phone call. We almost broke up. The reason why I was this close to call you, I was this close to breaking up with her on the phone mm-hmm. after that situation. The reason why I didn't do that because she said, "Oh, I'm gonna see a doctor. I'm gonna see what's going on with me and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I'm gonna do this." And first, I said, "Oh, this goes together. This let's both see doctors together to see." Right. Well, know, that's what. But you see, that's what I'm saying. But she doesn't want to do that. That's what I'm saying, though. What I'm saying is, is that you have to be able to accept that, like, this is the situation if you want to stay with her because you're saying you're tired of it. You're saying you're frust- you're frustrated with it. You see what I'm saying? Right. So what I'm right. saying is, is that it's not going to be fair to you to continue in the situation um, if you're frustrated with it. You see what I'm saying? And then it's not going to be fair to her to be having a dude that she's with that's frustrated with the situation and then she's not going to be happy with that. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes exactly. you got to say to yourself, what's best for the situation? Because I know y'all been together, y'all probably been through shit or whatever. And, you know, mm-hmm. it ain't like you could, you know, um, it ain't like y'all uh, uh, can, don't, can't be cool or whatever, but you're just not into that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You're not, you're not feeling it. So you're going to have to uh, make a decision and say, well, even though I'm not feeling it, I'm going to accept it and, and do what I got to do with it or I'm going to bounce. You feel what I'm saying? But but again... So, you, what if you have an option to bounce? I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. No, sorry. What you said, go ahead. So what if I say, okay, I want to bounce? How can I let her down gently and knock that hard to, know, to let her know that, you know, it's not, it's not really her, it's for mm. me, it's my decision, it's my, it's my, it's my uh, mm. you know, it's my reasoning that I want to, I want, I want to be out of this. But I feel like if I stay with this, I don't want to hurt you any more than mm. it's already had. Well, this is the thing. It ain't going to be easy because <laughs> if you breaking up with her, <laughs> it's going to be a breakup. Breakups ain't that easy most of the times. You know what I'm saying? So either way, she going to feel it. So you're going to have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to have to do it. Yeah, you're right. So because it's like, again, because again, if 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 because you said wait, you said you was fucking with other girls, right? On the side. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, listen, I'm not proud of it. Mm. I don't condone cheating. I hope I don't get into cheating in the future anymore because the last time I cheat was um, it was last year. Mm. And that's, on, that's, not the, that's not the only time. It's been plenty of times right. I've been uh, doing so. And so, and so uh, my question, no, my question to you, though, hold on. My question okay. to you, though, is was fucking with other girls, did that make it tolerable to be with your girl, being, the, being that she... Didn't want to like have sex sometimes. 
Wait, say it one more time. What I'm saying is, you having sex with the other women, did that make it easier for you to be with your girl since you're having sex with these other girls? Since your girl, you, since you're not really getting a problem with your girl, was it easier? Was was having sex with the other girls making it better for you to be with your girl? Um. Well, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's me. Like I'm saying that with other women, it's easier. Right. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like for example, if you're trying to mess with your, if you're trying to have sex with your girl, and let's say your girl don't want to have sex some night, and then you go see another girl the next day and fuck that girl, does it make it feel? Because like, let's say your girl was like, I don't want to have sex, and you thinking, damn, I, you know, this is fucked up. I want to break up with you, whatever. This is what you're thinking in your mind. Then you meet another girl, you have sex with her, and then now you say, well, since I had sex with this girl. I'm cool with going back to my girl because at least I'm having sex with somebody. Like, that's what I'm saying. Is that... Nah, 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 nah. Nah, man. Like, first of all, um, it was easier for me to talk to other women because, man, I long distance. You mm-hmm. know? I tell other girls my business and I don't talk to my girlfriend about my business too much. Mm-hmm. At the same time that I even let the girls know that if she asked, they even ask me, oh, they have a girlfriend? And I say, yeah, I have a girlfriend. But at the same time, I'm not looking for no girl and she's not here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just leave it at that. Right. So at the same time, it's that uh, even though I fuck, I'd be fucking with other women, uh, when I would go back to her, it's like, every time I go back to her, I'll just take it to my head like, huh. Every time I have sex with her, it's like, damn, I bet I have better sex than shit with the other women than her right now. Mm. See, you see, that's what I'm saying. Like, all of your situations is pointing to you not really being satisfied in the situation. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, and, so... And, and, <laughs> So yeah, so you're gonna have to make that decision again. It's either, you know, you 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 uh deal with it and learn to accept it and be with her, or you have to charge it again. You feel what I'm saying? But it's up to you. You gotta figure out what you wanna do. Yeah, and one one last thing, one last point I wanna make mm-hmm. is that I feel like I need to get I need to uh you know, break up with her because it's not just to her, it's also me. Mm-hmm. Um Mr. I've been I've been hearing you, uh, hearing you for a long time, for a uh, time, and I've been hearing, talk, I've been hearing you and um, Steve Dean Williams talking mm. about the game and stuff. And before then, I didn't know too much, but as I got further reading, uh, studying the game, and you know, hanging with the people who actually get women, mm. I've been peeping a lot of shit that I did wrong. Like I've been simping, you know, I've been being on some bitch mode shit, and mm. I accepted that fact that I've been doing some shit. Right. Even when uh, I was with her, I did some bitch shit. I was do, I was being much of a man, a leader, staying to my word, and now I've gotten better as far as being subordinate. And sometimes she doesn't like that. Sometimes mm-hmm. she likes it, she doesn't like that. But I'm being more of myself, and I get I get stronger by the day as far as realizing what my role is in this world as a man. Mm-hmm. So in the past years, whatever I've been simping, she understands that type of energy with me, and she. Feel like he expects more simping from me. Right, right. See, that's what I'm saying, and that's that's gonna make it even harder. You see what I mean? Exactly. So, exactly. You know. Even if I get mad, it's gonna be hard to be like, "Oh, why do you like that? Oh no, I don't like that." Right. See, that's it, what I'm saying. So better, better, you got yeah. you got you got a lot of shit that you got to think about. You feel me? And, and then and then make <laughs> and make an informed decision. Uh, you know, after all that, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, man. But y'all, I appreciate uh, the call, my dude. And uh, you yeah, know, man. just yeah, just just uh, think about it. All right. All right, thanks, All right, man. Peace. Appreciate Later. It. All right, let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Hey, Ricardo, yo, what's the deal? What's popping? Who's this? It's Russell Jersey. Hey, uh, yo, um, I'm mad as hell. The last check, I, I was the playback. We, the uh, the shit ended kind of early or something, so I mm-hmm. I didn't really hear the whole conversation that we had. Yeah, yeah, because the, the the internet was bugging out the other time. But what's what's popping with you though? Yeah, I, I, I gotta probably ask that question again. But before I go on, I gotta I gotta I wanna add my two to the um the topic. Mm. Um men thinking um damn, men play damn, men downplay the points of having game. Right. Everybody game. If you don't think you need no game, then you might as well just don't even join the game because <laughs> you all need game. It's not about women, it's about you as a man. Right. And just like the last the last dude that was calling I don't know what the fuck type of shit this guy or ain't no one hell. I'm gonna be with a woman who's not trying to fuck me. Right, but, right, <laughs> exactly. But I don't know what that's about. But like, <laughs> like you always said, it's not about the woman. It's about you. Right. You know, and and that's one thing about this guy. He had a scarcity mentality. Mm. And and 
the good thing is that he's fucking other females. Right. But at, at, at the end of the day, it's like, it doesn't matter. You know what you want, go after that. Mm. If she ain't down with it, fuck her. Right. It's, 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 it's really that simple. Right. Right. It's just as simple as that. Like, ain't no point in sitting mm. around here having a female, quote unquote, girlfriend you ain't fucking. Mm hmm. Real That's shit. like having a job without getting no paycheck. What the fuck you going to work for? You ain't getting paid. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't understand what type of... I don't know what's going on with these niggas nowadays, man. They didn't even cut this shit out, man. Uh, as, well, that's the thing. Well, you know what it is? A lot, of, a lot of dudes, the reason why they're in certain situations they're in is because... Their their game is weak because the strategy that they have is weak. You know, you understand what I'm saying. And a lot of times too, is because of insecurity. It's because of low self esteem. Is the reason why dudes be in certain situations that they're in. Because a lot of times I hear dudes like I can I can I can tell like when I talk to a guy or I hear a guy talking or I I see a comment about certain things, I can tell a, a guy's uh, level of success in his dating life based off of. Comments or things that he says because it oh, yeah. shows me the insight, yeah. you know, what he's thinking about. You see what yeah. I'm saying? And how he sees the world. You feel know I me? Mean? So, right. like, because right. so when, it, when a dude is always talking about, oh, it's all about looks, I'm like, that nigga's not getting no pussy. You see of what course, I'm yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you can't. Like, if you think about looks, if you're good looking, mm. I can understand. Even if you're good looking or not good looking, it's not all about looks. Right. Any, and, and, any any dude with common sense who you don't, I don't think you need to be a player. Any any man who's had a girlfriend or mm. any type of shit is not about that. Now you got guys who are pretty boys mm. that get you know chicks to fuck with them because they look good, but you still gotta, got you still got to have some type of game. And not even that. And see, this is why this is why I'm saying that I can tell dudes ain't getting no no ass if they have that thought process because if you say it's all about looks and you think you're not a good looking dude. You're not going to approach as many girls. You're not going to even try to get with chicks because you think, well, it's all about looks, so I ain't going to get no pussy. Then if you if you also, let's say you are a guy who thinks he's good looking and you think it's all about looks, most likely you're not going to even think it's all about looks because at the end of the day, you're going to realize how much you're getting rejected and you're going to realize, exactly. damn, well, it ain't all about looks because if it was all about looks, I wouldn't be getting rejected so much. You see exactly. what I'm saying? It's like simple exactly. logic, but they don't they don't want to think about this shit. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I wanted to re ask you. I know I asked you last chat, but unfortunately, this shit ended early. Mm -hmm. But I did want to ask you um, about, like, the game, how you get, like, worn down from the game because mm -hmm. a lot of guys get rejected a lot and they get worn down. Mm -hmm. And me, myself, personally. Now, me, I don't really care too much because mm -hmm. I have other shit going on, business trying to make money. So I, I got to... I, I still get upset every now and then, but the question I have for you is, um, how do you kind of, like... Um, maintain yourself when you constantly not get what you need or want, mm. and you just getting worn down. Well, that's well, that's the thing. Is you have to understand that everything that you're trying to get is going to come based off of uh, you continuously putting energy towards it. So, so I'll give you an example. So, for example, the reason why a lot of businesses fail is because most of the people in those businesses, they stop while shit isn't going well or they get worn down by the fact that things aren't going in the direction they want it to go right now versus the guys who actually make it is because even though they're feeling a certain type of way, they don't give up. They still keep it going. They still keep it pushing and they still make it happen. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like one guy is more important than the other or he has some magical powers. Is that all you need to do is that you need to keep going even when you have those worn down feelings. You see what I mean? Because what it means is the, the, the girls that you want to get, they're out there and it's going to happen if you don't give up. That's the, that's the problem with the game is that a lot of cats, they're looking for... Um, uh, 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 you know, magic formulas and, and, and magic beans in order to get a girl. See, the game that's not what the game is about. The game is not about you learning tricks on how to get girls to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? The game is about you, is about you, first of all, and it's about you actually being able to be the type of person who can withstand the bullshit in order to get to the success. You see what I'm saying? Because... That's, yeah, right, because the, the people who part. the people that's who's going to be victorious part. is the ones that's going to actually go out there and and keep it pushing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, the going with the bullshit is going to kind of like break you down. Just like the last, just like that bad boy uh, uh, preview show mm -hmm. about, um, about, about a patient. Right. You know, uh, unfortunately, and like I said, I don't have patience for nothing. Like, mm -hmm. any bullshit you bring my way, get the fuck out of it. I'm not even trying to hear you. Right, right. And, 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 and but, but, then, but then again, if you're trying to learn a game, that's going to hurt you because I know it's hurting me because when females tell me some shit, I'm like, okay, get out of my face. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause me to have less success. But, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I, don't, I mean, I care because I need to get my, you know, I'm a man. I got to mm -hmm. get with women. But because so much bullshit, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, get out of here. I don't be bothered with you. But at the end of the day, you ain't going to get less results. Well, but see, you know that's the saying? thing. You only you only get less results based off of your your mindset. Because this is the thing. Let's, let's, say, let's, let's, let's say, for example, right? If I, let's say within an hour, let's say within an hour, right? Within an hour, let's say I'm at a party or at a big event and there's like hundreds of girls there. Yeah. Let's say within an hour, um, I talk to like 200 girls within an hour. I talk to 200 yeah. girls. Now, how do you talk to 200 damn girls within an hour, right? So let's say what, what I'm doing is I'm searching and I'm looking for the chicks who's down to, to, to fuck with me. You understand? So I'm just being yeah. real straightforward. I'm letting them know what it is. And that's that. Now, let's say out of those 200, right? I get 20 out of the 200. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's like, what, 10% or whatever out of the 200? Yeah. So yeah. that's still 20 girls that I got. You see what I mean? But what, what happened was I had to talk to 200 girls. You see yeah. what I mean? So the thing is, is that dudes, what they'll, what they'll say is, is that they don't want to have to go through talking to 200 girls to get to 20. They want to talk to 20 girls to get to 20. Or they want to like finesse some sort of goofy magical formula shit so that they only need to talk to one girl and get her. It's like, that's not how the shit works. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's all dependent on your mindset because if you're the type of guy that says, look, um, I'm in this spot, I'm going to get some chicks, and I know that me being straightforward and stuff is going to knock out some of these women, you accept that that's the fact of the, of the game. The fact is, you being more real and upfront is going to knock out a whole bunch of other chicks because they can't yeah. take and deal with a guy who's real and upfront. So it's not that you're not getting chicks. It's that you're not putting in enough effort based off of understanding that because you are that real dude, you're going to have to go through all of that shit to get to the real chicks. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah, all it is. That is true. That's all it is. Because yeah. because it's like it's like you, you gotta you just gotta understand the position because you could fake and you could front and you could be on all that goofy shit. And there's a lot more people who who gravitate to the lies and the goofy shit. So yeah. since there's a lot more people yeah, that's right. how females are. Females gravitate towards the, the fake shit. Right, right. And, and 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 that's the reason why a lot of dudes be on that fairy tale shit, because that's what attracts females, but that they don't understand that. Women are not gonna have it. well. Some some females do fuck mm. with a fake nigga because he mm. a fake bitch for the most part. Mm. So that's the reason why a lot of guys just be faking and fronting the line because they feel like okay, it's easy to tell a lie. Right, but see that's the thing. You gotta understand something. With the fakeness comes a lot of time uh, wasted. Right, you see what yeah. I'm saying? That's that, so. So either way, that's what I'm saying. So you can still you can try all of that other stuff, but what's gonna happen is is that. It's just going to be a lot of a, a whole bunch of other runaround. You see what I mean? Yeah. So you're going to have more flakiness with these chicks. You're going to have more chicks that's so so uh, on the front end. You might get certain girls who is going to like you know gravitate to you, but on the back end, you're going to get a lot of flakes, a lot of chicks that's front end, a lot of chicks that you try to make something happen. They don't want to do it because from the beginning they were not authentic with what they wanted, and on top of that, they don't know what the fuck they want. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, so the thing is, is so the thing is, I rather talk to 10 girls and nine of them reject me up front so that I could get that one out of the 10 who's going to want to fuck with me on some real shit so I don't waste time with the other nine. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's, yeah. so that's, that's, that's what it is. it is. That's what it is. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because most, most chicks are time wasters. You got to understand that. Most of them yeah, are time yeah, wasters I, either yeah. way. Yeah, and, and that's why a lot of guys just say, fuck it, I'm not about to waste my time with these bitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, see, that's, that's what you got to do. You got to figure out a way. If you want to, and that's the thing about the game. If you want to get girls, you got to understand the dynamic of what it means to get girls. 
You feel what I'm saying? And that's yeah. part of the dynamic. The part of the dynamic is you got to put in work. And you got to be able to withstand the time wasters and go through that shit in order to get to the chicks who are going to be on some real shit. That's true. That's it. That's all it is. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and continue what I was doing. And, uh, once again, thank you for the game. I appreciate it. And next show, I'll holler at you. All right, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah, man. That's what it is, man. You guys got to understand. You got to put yourself out there. You got to put yourself out there. Yo, what's going on? What's popping? What's popping? Speak up a little bit, cause I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not hearing you too good. Yeah, it's David from Ohio. All right, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I just had uh, one question. Like, how do you uh, deal with uh, say you try to talk to a woman and uh, say you try to talk to her, uh, like she annoys you, like she doesn't send them to you, she just walk past you. How you deal with that afterwards? You said if you're talking to a woman and you said she ignores you. Yeah. And so, so wait, how do you talk to a woman that's ignoring you? What do you mean? She's like, you, you're trying to say something and she's just not looking at you or anything? Or she, what do, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, like she's not looking at shit, walk past you. And you said she walks past you? Yeah. Well, either she didn't hear you, which is why she walked past you, or she walked past you because she didn't want to talk to you. So if she walked past you, then keep let her ass keep walking. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, I, I, like in terms of your ego. You said in terms of what? The ego, like having that happen to you afterwards. Like, how do you deal with that? Message? Oh, well, that's the thing. You you got to You got to get rid of that that ego, though. You got to get rid of uh, uh, worrying about that shit. Because look, some of the things in a game, you have to understand that it's something that is going to happen. There's going to be girls who are going to walk past you. There's going to be girls who are going to ignore you. It's going to be girls who are going to reject you. There's going to be girls who are going to you know act like bitches. It is what it is. So. If, you, if you're if you all about your ego, what you're going to think is you're going to say, well, there's something wrong with me and I'm not cool and, and I suck and girls don't like me because you're 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 connecting your ego to that that um, interaction. All you got to do is, is 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 deal with that interaction with no ego. You know what I'm saying? So, so don't worry about how cool you look or how much of a player you are. That's the thing that gets dudes uh, fucked up in the game because... You're always attaching your ego to your success and your results, which gives you that bigger ego or which gives you that insecurity. You see what I'm saying? I mean, but I mean that's kind of that's kind of difficult though, because it's like once that happens, like it seems like you like you feel like the woman thinks that she's better than you, uh, uh, you know that you, uh, you know you're not worth her dealing with, you know? Right, but this so one, I mean, but this one I'm saying, yeah. what I'm saying is, fuck what she thinks. You see what I'm saying? As soon as you realize okay. that none of that shit matters, then you're going to be okay. See, right now you you're, you're, you have the illusion that that matters. You have the illusion that what she thinks about you matters. First of all, she's probably not even thinking about you in certain cases. This times where a girl will ignore you or say something stupid or whatever that has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with how she's feeling in the moment because of some other shit. You don't know. So why are you why are you attaching it to you? You don't you have no idea. You right. see what I'm saying? So you know. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, just you know. All right, bro. But yeah, just just uh do that. Don't worry about the ego and just keep it pushing. All right. All right, man. All right, bro. Peace. All right, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up? What's popping? Who's this? Yo. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, what's up? This is Ken. Man, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for, you know, changing the simp culture. Because <laughs> that shit is a disease. <laughs> that shit is a real, real disease. I... Especially people who was calling today. I was like, damn, man. It's real out here. Yeah, it's but, crazy. Um, two things. Mm. Yeah, first of all, I got a rant and rave mm. about how the lesbian culture is running rampant and spreading like a disease. <laughs> I, I've heard and seen so many women get seduced by other women and their lay count is higher for women than it is for men. That's why I think guys really got to get up on the game. <laughs> they, they, they're with a girl have no idea mm. 
that there's another chick on the side that they're fucking, or there's many chicks on the side, or the money that they're giving this chick is going to this other chick. It's happening way more than you know. Right. It's not just New York, and it's just happening everywhere. That is me ranting and raving. Mm. But on the question side, um, there's another guy who's watching your video right now, and we had a discussion about this thing called amogging. You know what amogging is? Nah, what's that? That's some kind of PUA term where if, like, you go into a group, which they call a set, and there's a guy there, and you try to devalue him mm -hmm. in front of the other females. So, you know, you might crack some jokes on him or just walk up straight to the girl and just talk to the girl as if the guy don't exist. Mm. Now my theory, my, my thing, my outlook on that, as I don't, I don't agree with it. Mm. The other person is looking at at your video saying yes, because if they act a certain way towards you when you amog them, that means they're insecure. Mm. But my rebuttal is, there you can't change every man's insecurity. Mm. So if you walk up to a, a girl that a guy's friends with talking to, and you don't even acknowledge them, yeah, they might be in, insecure, but that's not gonna the punch to your face mm. and and two I don't think you should do that specifically with black and Latin men because you know we had a, we have a lot of bullshit in our life you know mm. for somebody just disrespect our vibe mm. but that is my view but I want to know what is your take about approaching a group mm. when there's a guy in there and you want the girl that's in there mm. well the thing is you know if if you know, you don't have to go up to and 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 fucking make fun of the fun of the fucking dude or that's like that's sucker shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. because first of all, when you go to a group anyway, you gotta figure out the dynamics of the group first of all. So you gotta talk to the whole group, see who's who. So you gotta see is this guy her friend? Is he uh -huh. her boyfriend? Absolutely. What you know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta be cordial and everything. And on top of that, um, the thing is. You you want to be cordial and cool with the whole group anyway. You feel what I'm saying? And and figure and, and, and that's one so that you can figure out what's actually going on in the group. Because because if you want the girl, even if that guy wants the girl, if you're cool with that guy, right? And he's because I've seen this happen plenty of times. If you're cool with that guy, he'll sort of give the girl to you. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. And that, and that's the thing that dudes don't understand because if I go into a, a situation and I start like acting on some bullshit with the dude, the guy's going to not like me and then he's going to try his best to not to, to fuck the shit up for me if he see me trying to holler at the girl. You see what I'm saying? So people yeah, yeah, yeah. people like to deal with people they like. So that so yeah, trying to yeah, trying yeah. to fuck with them it, it, that that's counterproductive and it's just stupid just in general. You see what I mean? Because this is a dude that I know who is a quote-unquote PUA, mm. and then he tried to walk up to a girl that I was kicking game to. Mm. And, you know, I didn't feel like he could actually, you know, get her number, but but I, I physically didn't let him do it. Mm. And he was, he was using regular PUA shit, like, oh, dude, are you insecure or whatever? And, you know, I, I just got pissed, and I just rocked his shit. <laughs> like, you know, like, I, I just pounded him. Oh and man, you can't be doing that, bro. <laughs> Why not? Nah, man. I, mean, I, I think some people gotta learn. Nah, man. Like, you can't you know, be, like, nah, you can't be doing that. Came up to me and be like, "Yo, is this your girl?" Nah. <laughs> or wait till I'm done. I wanna let him go ahead and max her. And if he took, if he got her, then it's gonna be like, "All right, no problem." Had he came with that respect, but I feel like you know me having my fist dance on his face taught him a lesson like you know what maybe i should not do this no more you know because i, I may, maybe he don't got no health insurance and he don't want to take that risk you know? dude you can't so it's like you can't be you know doing that man you can't be doing that shit man i'm telling you because it, it's so many different reasons why like first of all you know you getting yourself in predicaments that could lead to other shit that's not gonna really be beneficial to you you feel what i'm saying so you don't want to get I yourself because because the thing with, the thing with you fighting somebody or, or snuffing some dude, 
you only want to do those things in those situations when you have to do something. Like when you're defending yourself from right. some other shit. Like him trying to holler at some chick. Who the fuck cares? Like that's not you know that's not your girl. And even if it was your girl, you know, unless dudes is putting hands on you, don't put hands on on dude because then you're getting yourself in a in a fucked up situation. Two. What happened when with the girl after you did that to him? You feel what I'm saying? Oh, she just walked away. I was like, yo, I guess you don't want either of us. That's what I'm saying. Like, what I'm saying. Like, what are you? I guess. I, yo, I mean, I, 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 yo, this dude went to the ground. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what was the I point of that? Evil, but it's like, I, I just think collective because it's a thing in this PUA community to do something like that, mm. like. Walk up to, and they're not really in reality because I realize these P ways mm. when they run the game, mm. it's like, yo, put yourself in that girl's shoes. How do you look? You right, know and, and and also too, also too that that again, that's that sucker shit and that's insecurity because if you if you if you see a dude talking to a chick and then you got to come over to try to diss the dude or do some other shit to try to get the girl. That's but straight But the thing is, I was already talking to the shit. I was in the conversation, and he walked up like I did not exist. Right, right. And so so, so the and thing is... When I, when I told him, like, I see you around here and all that, mm. he was like, anyway. Like, he did, that's exactly what he did. I was right. like, oh! Right. <laughs> see, 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 me, you know, me, I would have, I would have, look, this is what I would have did. This is what I would have did. I would have just gave the chick to him. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I would have been like, if you would have came up and started be like, oh, you know, you guys look like y'all gonna make a cute couple. Y'all, y'all have fun, and then and then bounce to somewhere okay. else and talk to another chick. You see what I'm saying? But you don't feel like there was some valid lesson and you know the ass whooping and no. giving them some Tylenol and him resting up. No, no not because at all. <laughs> no, because this is the thing. I, I really feel like moving forward, he's not gonna do that to anybody. And disrespect him because you know, had I been a real ass gangster, mm. I could have just leveled him. Right. Or he, he don't know who I'm with, and that's but, why I always tell people in the PUA community don't do that. Especially but see, when you go to bars, I'm not gonna even pull out a knife on you. Right. No. And, and I and I like, no. And I I agree with you on that 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 uh, aspect. Yeah. I'm just saying you don't need to be the type of dude doing that. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because. What it is is again you're you're inviting that negative energy into your situation. And on top of that, you know, just in general, y'all y'all putting too much value on these women. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit like that. Wait, say that say that one more time you broke up with I said I said you putting too much value on these women by doing shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? So again, like imagine how that looks <laughs> just in general and also to your own uh subconscious. You feel what I'm saying? That's not a cool. That's not a good thing. This is why I say I'd give the chick to the dude because I've done that sometimes. I've seen dudes. I'll be in a spot. They try to come in the conversation. I welcome them into the conversation. I see that the 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 he trying to holler. I say, yo, you know, y'all two should get together and talk. And then what happens is sometimes the girl comes and finds me because she already chose me. That's okay. another thing. Sometimes the girl already chose you, so it don't even matter that the other dude's coming through. Yeah, yeah, but but I think that's good when you get to the point in the conversation where you where she builds up attraction because mm. you might be just in a conversation where you only build up rapport, mm. and then if he comes in, then the same thing might not happen. It's likely not to happen. Well, this is the thing. But if, a if lot you're of in the conversation and you already build attraction and you gave, mm. gave him up, mm. gave her up, then then she'll be looking for you. No, but this is what I'm saying. A lot of times, look, look, hold on, hold on. A lot of times, women know within the first few minutes that they feeling you. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of Maybe times, when you have to. Seconds. Yeah, a lot of times when you have to build the attraction. That's usually a girl who's sort of so so on you anyway. So you would have okay. still had to done a whole bunch of fucking work <laughs> trying to fuck with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So 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 that's why I'm saying that. Either way, you win because if I give her, if I send her to the dude, or I say, "Yo, you know," because because first of all, remember the chick ain't yours. Period. You feel what I'm saying? But if I stop no talking to her, and I say, "Yeah, y'all two hang out." I'm just borrowing her. Right. No I say, "Y'all two hang out," and then but if she's feeling me, she's gonna come and find me. You feel what I'm saying? If she was sort of so so, she's not gonna worry about it, and 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 that's a good thing because I don't want to really have to even waste time on the so so girl. You feel what I'm saying? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they they getting on you in the chat room. They saying you you was trying to build attraction through violence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was trying to be the alpha male. Like, baby, I could protect you. Look how his teeth came out his mouth. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but see, that's the she thing. That's the thing. Show. Lashing <laughs> out, lashing out like that shows weakness, though. That's that's what guys don't understand. Lashing out like that if, shows weakness. If it's a hood chick, she's like, oh, all right. They're gonna like, all right. See, and why, and why you, you why, and see, nah, and see, I can't be fucking with no hood chicks. I, that's that's not my jurisdiction. I don't fuck with hood chicks, so I can't even tell you nothing. Uh, I love hood chicks. They just too much drama. <laughs> this, I think they're sexy, but they just too much drama. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to holler little mama. You know the rapper <laughs> little mama? Right. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that. You know, <laughs> you know that like some dead ass, I'm trying. I, I don't know if it ever happened, but you know, I'm literally That's trying. Funny. But here's the thing: there's a different dynamic when a guy tries to cock block than when a woman tries to cock block. Right, right. Which kind of go, goes with it with the beginning, because you know, um, there was a girl that I was already smashing, mm-hmm. and I was talking to her at the bar. Um, damn, I forgot the name of the bar, but it don't matter. So. This girl comes in and starts complimenting. It was like, oh, your hair is nice. Da, 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 da. I was like, I can't punch her in the face. <laughs> and then there's this other girl who looked diked out who was passing me and trying to initiate a conversation. Mm-hmm. So the girl that I was with was like, um, the girl that I was with was said to me, me and her are going to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, you yeah. And I gave her that look like, God, I know you bullshit. And, like, right. you know, squinted my eyes and all that. And I told her, I was like, you could, but you're going to have to get home on your own. Right. You know, and then she stopped. And then I looked at her. And then, you know, we kind of went back and forth. Like, oh, we're not trying to do that. It's just your fantasy. I was like, all right, cool. Mm. When you're done talking, saying what you're saying, when you finish talking shit, after all that, I'll be gone. Mm. And then the conversation with her and that girl that tried to take her to the bathroom dwindled, and the dyke that was trying to tap me walked away, and she never went to the bathroom. Right. Now, mind you, that was one of the last times I ever met up with her, mm. and I felt like maybe I could have done something different. It didn't really matter that much because I already smashed. Mm. But... I'm just saying, like, what should I do generally when, man, these girls is crazy? When, when a lesbo is trying to, like, cock block me. I mean, well, that's, that's the thing, man. Sometimes, sometimes what happens is, you know, they're, they're cock blocking because, you know, of course she want the chick or she just want to, she don't want you to fuck with her or whatever it is like that. You understand what I'm saying? You have to you have to be able to like not be phased by that. Show the girl so let them see that you're not phased by that and let the girl choose you. Let the girl you want choose you. So you just be like, "Listen, I'm gonna go, you holla at me later. Here's my card, here's my number. Holla, you got my information. I'll I'll see you." You feel what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. A lot of times a lot of times removing yourself from the situation. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Helps a lot. You see what I mean? So okay. You gotta be able to and, remove and yourself. Do that and shit. If it is my girlfriend or Wait, whatever. Say that again. If it, if, should I do the same thing if it, if I'm actually in a relationship with a girl? Back, then, well, um, if you well, if you're in a relationship, then how is someone cop blocking you from your girl? I don't. Uh, how does that even work? <laughs> oh, from, well, not. Well, I want to say cop blocking, but trying to take her away or trying to take her away from me in the moment. Wait, but how, but how I, is, wait, I, how is somebody, you, wait, 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 I tell you stories here and you'll be up to like midnight, I mean. Wait, so how, wait, wait, so how, hold on, wait, 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 wait how, wait, cycle, how is somebody, yeah. how is somebody taking your girlfriend away from you like that? Oh, they could just act like they're cool and just friends and then next thing you know, you don't see her around at the party or whatever, <laughs> you know, or at the gathering or whatever. They just simply have the conversation just be like. Yo, what's up? Your man ain't looking. Let's go here. Well, if that well, if that's the case, if that's the case, you just gotta congratulate that dyke and be like, listen, I I, I salute you, player. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? Because if your girl, wow, that's it. That's, that's it. Because if your girl, if she's if she's able to get taken away like that, then what what you know what I'm saying? Then it, you know, it is I, what I, it let is. Let me tell you, any girl can be taken away. I exactly. Any girl can be taken away from another female. I, I agree. Think 
a girl is so invested into another dude. A girl, you know, but this is what I'm saying. So much of a trend that's why. Dude. That's why you gotta understand that she was never so yours to begin with. You feel what I'm saying? Any yeah, chick. So I should never get married. Yeah, you should never get married. It don't matter if you get married or not. Yeah. My my wife is not mine. My wife could leave me tonight if she wants to. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. my girl could leave me tonight if she wants to. There, you, there, nobody is yours. You feel what I'm saying? And just the world we in, damn, that shit is That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. But yo, man, I appreciate the call, bro. I gotta get a few more of these calls, bro. I'm gonna holler at you, bro. Don't pray for me. All right, cool. <laughs> Peace. Oh, man. All right, let me take one more call. Yo, who's this? Hey, what's up, Lacar? This is Kevin, man. What's poppin'? What's going on, bro? Hey, man, Kevin from Dayton. Man, I called you last week, man. Some of these guys on here, man, they're they killing me, man. <laughs> they're killing me. I, I just don't you. get it, man. I feel these you. These guys on here work for what a woman think, and they scared to talk, and that the chick's not what they program, what do they got to do? Mm -hmm. Right, uh, right. You the man. <laughs> They got to realize that they, they are the man. Mm -hmm. The woman has to follow. Exactly. Facts. And you have to have that confidence. I'm the type of dude, when I walk into a place where there's a party, I'm the dude. Mm -hmm. I don't care who in there. Facts. I don't care women, women in there with their husbands. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, dang, I know they all want me in here. Right. That's how I think. <laughs> right. Exactly. They, they all want me. That's how you got to come at the game. Mm -hmm. And I mean, guys, you got to practice. Practice the game makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like you want to be a good shooter in basketball. You got to go and start shooting when ain't nobody around. Shoot right. practice with yourself. Right. And, and go out and talk to chicks that you may not even be attracted to. Mm -hmm. You got to work on how a female reacts to the things that you say. Facts. They, they, I'm telling and, you. <laughs> if you talking to a chick and as you get to know how chicks respond to certain things that you say, then that same uh, way you talk to that chick, you can use it on another chick. Mm -hmm. you got to practice the game. Guys on here think that the game comes overnight. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You well, have to practice. And you have to think to yourself, I am the dude. Mm -hmm. I'm that guy. You right. got, before you leave the house in the morning, before you step outside, talk to yourself. I'm that dude. Right, right, right. I'm that dude. When I get in my car and I'm driving down the road, the first person I see, if it's a woman, I'm going to give her eye contact. I'm already getting my mind ready mm -hmm. to, to spit at a chick. Mm -hmm. Before I even get out of my car, <laughs> use every opportunity. When I go in the morning and get a coffee at, at Speedway or whatever, I'm saying, who in there? Mm -hmm. Who can I talk to? Who can I practice on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I was in... Uh, Walmart the other day, this chick came in. I was getting my um, you know, uh, my stuff I was buying, and she came in. She had no bags. Right. So I'm like, what are you doing behind me? She was like, oh, I forgot my money for my for my merchandise. I said, oh, okay. I said, why are you looking so mad? And she's like, oh, um, she's like, I got a lot of things on mine. I said, that's how most women are. Y'all have a lot of things on mine. Sometimes you might just let that go and just have a blank mind sometimes. Right. Now, as I'm, as I'm talking to her, I see I, I, got, I, I got her attention. Mm. So I see she got a wedding ring on. But even if a chick is married, you can still practice with her. Right, right. Exactly. exactly. Yes. So as I'm walking out with her, I'm talking to her. And um, she's like, well, and I'm happily married. And I said, of course you are. Why would you be happy? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the off right there. Because he's thinking, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to spit. I am trying to spit. But I already know you're married, so I'm just going to play with you. Right, right. So, as I'm walking out with her, I see she really getting, in, she, I'm really, she really feeling what I'm saying. So, as we walking out, I was like, um, what did she say? Oh, I said, um, I was just talking about that male, male, female relationships and dynamics as, a, as being married. And I was like, yeah, you got to let the man be the man. And when the decision's got to be made about something, you got to let him make it. Because right. if, if, if anything goes bad, he didn't make the decision for both of y'all because he's the head of the household. Mm. You, didn't, you can say to him, well, okay, you, you the one who made the decision, so we got to live with it. She's like, oh, no. I would be making those decisions <laughs> right then and there. Let me know. That's the type of chick I wouldn't fool with. Exactly. 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 Right. So, so when I said that to her, she's like, well, I guess we wouldn't be together. I said, exactly. Right. <laughs> right. And that's, and that's exactly what guys got to do. I'll be telling dudes, you got, you got to pay attention to everything. Cause just like you said, you seen that she talking all that shit. And you're like, yeah, you ain't going to be the type of chick I'm going to really deal with. 
And then you can save yourself a lot of trouble and headache because and, you actually did the work to see what's going on with this and, girl. Exactly. Right. So I would have immediately dismissed her. Mm-hmm. What, before I said that to her, I said, well, if me and you were together, I'd have to tame you. Right, and right. she was like, oh. <laughs> she like, oh, well, we definitely wouldn't be together. Now I looked at her and said, exactly, and started smiling. Right. And she's like, I said, I'll see you later, baby. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, it felt so good. <laughs> And a lot of times when you talk to a chick, like that, like I, last week I was talking to you, I said this chick, uh, she gave me a lot of uh, tests, um, and she said, I asked her, I said, she said, you know, the only reason I gave you my number, I said, why? She said, the whole time I was giving you crap, you kept smiling the whole time. Right, right. If you act, l- l- let make a chick know that when you saying something to her, whatever you say, I don't even care about your response. Because I said it, and how you don't respond to me, let me know how I'm going to deal with you. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Yes, I, I, I love the game, man. I, I love the way you're breaking it down to dudes, man. But guys got to stop worrying about what a daggone woman thinks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got to stop it, man. You, what, when you're talking to a woman, and, oh, oh, this is a good point right here. Guys, quit worrying about getting a 10. Stop right, the, right. Stop the stop preach, it. preach, preach. Stop trying to get a 10. Preach. I'll tell you what, an adjustable 7 is just as bad as an 8 or a 9. Because when a adjustable 7 gets fixed up, she could be an 8, 8 or 8.5 eight when you when you present her. Mm-hmm. And, and, and on that top of that, and on top of that, dudes don't understand that a real 10, a, a girl who's a real 10 is not just a chick that look good. A real 10 is a chick that look good that brings something to the table, that's cooperative, all of that exactly. shit. Exactly. That's a real 10. You feel what I'm saying? That's a real 10. That's a real 10. And even with that adjustable 7, um, she can be brought up close to a 9 if her attitude is right. That's it ain't, exactly. It ain't always about the look. Mm-hmm. A, a chick that's a 10, and she ain't got nothing other than just her look, mm-hmm. she don't have nothing. She ain't got no substance. Right. Right. That's what... That's why a lot of them chicks, you can't communicate with them. Because mm-hmm. their mind only goes so far. Mm. They don't have to build themselves. They used to go through life just being pretty. They don't have to build themselves up for nothing else but they look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and also, guys, don't be scared to mess with a five. Mm. Uh, there's also an, an adjustable five. <laughs> an adjustable five could be made into a seven. Mm. <laughs> when she picks up right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean... And I, and I say it like this, too. Just like you get a movie, a, a, a DVD, right. and it say on the box, bonus footage mm-hmm. or behind-the-scenes footage. Right. A, a five could have that behind-the-scenes footage mm-hmm. or that bonus feature. Mm-hmm. She could have a little bit of change. Mm-hmm. She, hey, she could <laughs> turn you on to stuff that you're not really familiar about. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. She could give you a little etiquette. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could always be taught something from a chick as long as you spitting game to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that adjustable five is beautiful, and I don't care what nobody say if I'm holding a chick and she may look like a five. I take it out in broad daylight because I got the behind the scenes footage. Mm. I'm going back to the crib. <laughs> I'm going, I'm, she cooking dinner and breakfast for me. Right. I'm riding around in the S five hundred with her. Man, stop the game. Stop the press. Right, right. <laughs> nah, I you stay real with shit. That really weren't that cute. Other chicks looking at me like, dang, what what he doing? Mm. Hold up. But behind the scenes, I'm like. Hey, when I get back to the crib, I know what's getting ready to go down. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, those tens, the sex is garbage. Oh, what? Dude, please preach. <laughs> Jesus, man. Man, that, that shit is facts. <laughs> the sex is garbage because they don't, they, they just think they have to see. And most of the dudes that pull them, those are the dudes that's paying for them. Right, so right. Steps. So mm-hmm. they trying to show out in front of this chick. So all she got to do is lay there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She ain't got to prove herself in no other way. Other, I'm pretty. Okay, they do me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. no. Right. And they I'm just lay there because they, think, they think being pretty is it. They're like, well, I'm pretty. So <laughs> you should you should feel <laughs> yeah. like like fucking great that you're just, I'm here. Like, get the fuck out of here. Right, <laughs> right, right. That don't mean nothing to me. Uh, and um, I, I like, uh, I'll tell you what, some of the best vagina I've had was a five or a six. Mm. I mean, that's some of the best because they put in that work. Mm. They were like, oh, I got to prove myself to him. That's what you're supposed to do, baby. Right. You got to prove yourself to me every time you're in front of me. Real shit. Oh, man. And, I, and I, I, I've messed with chicks before. And so even though I knew a chick, uh, I, she was going to see me and other people. I'll I tell you what. You can see other people. I don't care who you see. Mm. But when I come over your house, or if I come visit, whoever in there got to go. Right, right. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> so I, I went over to this chick's house, and I, ca- I said, I called in the driveway. Right. So I called her 
on my phone. I'm like, hey, Kevin? Yeah, I'm out front. Whoever in there, gotta go. <laughs> hey, five minutes later, old dude comes running around looking like, oh, how I get past the house so fast? Hey, I go in there and handle business. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, I've done that. I had a chick that stayed in Detroit. My mm. cousin, I go see my cousin, stop over his house. He said, what you doing down here, man? I said, I come to see her. Her name was Karen. I said, come to see Karen. Mm. He said, do she know you down here? I said, no. When I get over her house, she'll know I'm here. Right, right. <laughs> I go over I go over her house. I call her on the phone. In front of her, I was like, hey, I'm out front, baby. She's like, Kevin, you here? I'm out front. Come outside. <laughs> Kevin! She's <laughs> right outside. Hey, I go back in the house and walk her in the house. Drop my drawers around my ankles and say, suck my dick. <laughs> and she does it. It gets on her knees. <laughs> God, so you, you got to be a man around a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, if a woman is feminine and you a man, oh, that just makes their vagina so wet. Yo, you got real to talk. be a real man and not not uh, bite your tongue when you talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, this, when you talk to a woman, it ain't got to be smooth. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to be the smooth. You ain't got to rap it. Be smooth. Hey, just say what you mean and don't blink when you say it. Right, right, right. Real shit. Yep, yep. Yeah, if you think she mad about what you said, you just pause and wait for her response. <laughs> and if she says something crazy or whack, you check her. Right. And, and guys that be getting into relationships with women and the women playing them, like, I don't know what to do about this. Hold up. <laughs> you made that situation for yourself. Ooh, she facts. Let, you, <laughs> yes. They made that situation. When a chick dealing with a real dude, a real masculine dude, mm-hmm. she already know how she can come off with it. Right. She know what she can't do and what she can do mm-hmm. already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, even have to say it man. to you. You know, and the guys that be putting their hands on women, you don't have control over your, over your woman if you got to put your hands on her. Right, right. I should, be able, I should be able to say something. And she look at me, oh, he ain't playing. Mm-hmm. And I'm, hold up, and I'm only going to say it once. If I got to repeat myself, you know you got to be out the door. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> See, that's, 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 that, that, that's that man shit right, right there. Now. That's she that like, man uh, shit right there. You feel what I'm saying? That's that straight yeah. man shit. Like she already know. That's what I be telling cats. Like she did. They. It's like it's like when you in school, you know that teacher that's strict that you can't fuck with. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You you on your best right. behavior in that classroom. That's the same way chicks respond right. to you. You right. feel right. me? So and when, you, and, and when you talk to your girl and she try to get jazzy with you and they gonna do it, even if you don't right. shit with them, they testing you and get jazzy with you. You gotta go ahead and check them. Right. And, and, and if they be like, well. I said, I tell you what, baby, if, if what you do, if, if, if what's going on right here you don't like, then I, I, I want to be with you. Mm. But if you, if you can't handle what's going on, you might have to walk. Right, right. And, and they'll look at you and be like, dang, he, he's for real. And they'll be like, well, okay, uh, which one we cook for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Put on the phone. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hold up. Uh, just say something. Just say something. Hello. How uh, you yeah, doing? Hold up, baby. Hold up. You love my masculinity, don't you? <laughs> say it. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Go on now. Me and talking. Okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the hold fuck up, I'm baby, talking about. Talk about your woman. Because <laughs> she she knows she earned her stripes. Mm-hmm. She earned her. She her place to be here. Uh, she didn't just get in here. She didn't. She know she just not here just to be here. She earned her way. Up. She came in as a private, and now I think I gave her captain's bars, but she still got a salute every day. Ooh, facts, facts. That's what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> see this dude right here, Kevin. That's 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 a real dude. I want all of y'all to pay attention. You feel what I'm saying? You see that energy. You see that confidence. That's why he's getting the women he's getting. That's why he got shit popping. You see what I'm saying? Yes. That's yes. what it is. You have to, you have, to have com- without confidence, the game means nothing. Mm, it means nothing. Mm-hmm. You got to have confidence before. It's like before you build a building, you got to build that base. Mm-hmm. Without with confidence is the base. Right. Right. Confidence is confidence is the footing. Once you get that footing, that footing down, and it's got to be deep. It can't be this a shallow footing. You gotta be that. You gotta go down deep. You gotta go down to bedrock. So when a woman do go, go up to a woman and she and she acting funny, you can just dismiss her like that because it don't mean nothing to you. Mm-hmm. You don't let a woman, a, mo- a woman's reaction to what you saying to her affect you in any type of way. Right, right. Mm-hmm. All I do is I'm talking to a woman and she and she not acting the way I want to want her to act. I say, damn, I feel sorry for her. 
Right, right. Because she don't know what she's missing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm good. I go, man. I love talking to you, man. Hey, hey, come on with Miles, man, so, uh, so I can chop it up with both of y'all. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Miles is coming in in a few weeks, so we gonna, we gonna, he going to be on the live stream in a few weeks. We're going we to get that shit going. You feel me? All right, man. I love it when you get these guys, man. Get these guys straight, man. Hey, they call in all timid. Hey, the way they talking to you, if they talking to a woman like that, hell, I wouldn't give them none either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All right, bro. I'm going to holler at you, man. All right. All right, peace. That's my dude right there. He's spitting so much Ooh. facts, man. That's why I be telling y'all cats, man. Oh, that's a good way to end the show, man. That's a really good way to end the show, man. Real shit. Real shit. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably have to do a, a whole private interview with him and post that shit up. But, um, but man. So, listen, guys. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Remember to get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, and audio book. Make sure you guys get this book. Also, make sure you guys join the Bad Boy Membership. Go to badboymembership.com because... I'm dropping the, the, the new membership that I'm actually, I'm going to drop it tomorrow. So the new membership program I'm coming out is how to attract women on social media. Okay, so I'm, dude, if you are not on the bad boy membership, you are missing the fuck out. Because on this next program, I'm going to be teaching you how to get girls on Instagram, how to get girls on Facebook, how to be able to message girls you don't even know on there and get them. How to get girls that you meet off the street. You understand what I'm saying? And actually get in situations to where you hook up with them even online, even if you can't get them on the street. I'm, I'm talking all of that shit. So make sure you join the Bad Boy membership so you can check out how to attract women on social media. That's going to be the next Bad Boy membership program I'm dropping uh, tomorrow. You feel what I'm saying? And also, if you if you join the Bad Boy Membership, you get to listen to that. And you get to fuck with all of the other programs on there. There's like 50-something on there right now. So if you join the Bad Boy Membership right now, you're going to be able to have access to all of those programs. You feel what I'm saying? Um, also, make sure you guys uh, go to MrLocario.com to get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. Okay? It's in two weeks. Two weeks, the seminar is happening it's going to be off the chain, so make sure you guys get your tickets so I can see you there, all right? So let me shout out to the people in the room. So I'm so glad the, the, the you know, the internet was going, you know, a little smoother than last time. Um, who we got up in the spot? We got my dude uh, Barbazon, DJ Batman is up in the building. Matthew De La O, who else? Desmond Cook, Ellie Empire, Johnny Quest. Um, who else? See, Johnny Quest, you gotta, you gotta have more confidence in yourself, man. See, you said you're gonna go and spit some, at some chicks, but most likely you're gonna get rejected. See, that's why you're getting rejected, because you think, you keep thinking you're gonna get rejected, man. You gotta get out that mindset, bro. Who else is in here? Royal Illness was up in the spot. Chizzy City, Scope Maverick, Martin79934. Dr. Splantano, Enemies Defeated, Khalil was in the building, Darrell, Jeremiah, AQI, Jason Tate, Darrell S. Who else we got up in here? Jay Raw, SW247. Um, who else? Machine Inc., Patherin Fan, D. Tora Pla. There's a lot of people up in here. Eastern Conversation. Um, but yeah, I want to, you know, shout out to everybody in the chat room. And I will see you guys again. Maybe, what, Monday? Yeah, Monday or Wednesday. So Monday or Wednesday, I'm going to have uh, another joint. And uh, yeah, so you guys have a good weekend. And I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you, people.